and I got notified on my telephone. And yes, it says live. Um, now I'm watching the stream. After the delay gets by, it'll it'll start. Going there's a see. there's an automatic uh, thirty second delay. I think it says in Streamyard. In the no, rules usually mine is about my my initial delays. There it goes. It just it just came live. I notice about a ten to twelve second. Yeah, online. ten to eight ten second delay is what I normally have because I have that countdown timer on my screen and I can see the one on the on the when I go I go live and my countdown is done while I'm live so I can see that the countdown on the the, the actual YouTube feed is usually eight or ten seconds behind uh, what I'm putting out. All right, I popped out my chat, and all three of us are watching. Where's everybody else? <laughs> I'm sure they'll start popping in here in a second. Usually these guys pile on for this thing. I know. Hi, guys, if you're out there. Yeah, it is Tuesday night. My thing says two people watching, four watching now. Okay. Does it count us as watchers, though? Yes, if you, have a window, if you have a window open and you're monitoring the stream, it does. If you're oh, just I using don't. StreamYard, it doesn't. Yeah. I'm not watching it, so. No, then it won't count you. I thought you were talking about the, why we were in the live stream that was counting us. Hey, okay. Chris. Chris Wedgworth, Bill Costa Tomas. Jones, Tomas Ariels. Bill Thomas, how you doing? I have two Chris. lives. Damn it. I made the mistake. Yeah. <laughs> because I had the YouTube scheduled. And then I told you I did a YouTube. How do I cancel the YouTube? Schedule? Well, just go in. You go in there to your to your uh, uh, creator studio. Right. Go to, and go to videos, and then and then and then click the dots on the right hand side. Go to live. There'll be a there'll be one that says live up top, and go to the dots on the right side of it. it says delete. Go ahead and just delete the stream yeah, that you're not you, running. Yeah. You think it's that easy? Look. Oh yeah, I do it all the time. Okay. Now how do I delete it? Are you in? Is that Creator Studio? Yes. That's not Creator. It sure doesn't look like no, the Creator doesn't. Studio. No, that that's I have. YouTube Studio. You need to be in no, Creator no, Studio no, on. No. Um, creator Studio is is on. Uh, no, close that out. Close that out. Yeah. Okay. Then how do I get to? Whoa. You don't have a link for Creator Studio? No, I, I guess I didn't make one. Well, go in. Go into YouTube itself. Right. Okay. And uh, here, let me let me show you on on my screen here. I right, pull me, up uh, your screen. All right, hang on a second. I'm going to go to uh, to this here, and make if you, if you make me big, I'll show you. All right, go ahead. All right, this is it. it it's it, this is what your YouTube Studio looks like. It's called your channel dashboard. Well, you see any? You have anything that looks that? like that? Press well, on your picture. I, and then I, 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 YouTube Studio. Oh, yeah, I okay. I pressed on right. my picture and I pressed YouTube Studio. Right now, and I'm, now I'm on my over, dashboard. Over on the left, there's a, a play button that says content when you hover over it. So click on that. There's content. See? And then up, look at what I'm doing. Up at the top of content, it says uploads, live, and posts. Since this is a live stream, click live. And then you'll see uh, 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 the one that you're not running. Over here, there's three dots, options, and you can say delete forever. Holy Christ, wait a minute. This. Let me show you this. There's three of them up there. Okay, <laughs> well, they're probably left over from, they're probably left over from before. All right, you can, you can, let me get back, show us your screen now. That's my screen. There we go, yeah. Okay, so are you on live now? Yeah. That, so so those three that are old that are below the one that's live. Yeah. You just delete them. So there's when when you hover over it, you'll see three dots on the right. How, see this? Yeah. It says delete. delete forever. You sure? Are you really sure? Yeah. <laughs> Adrian did that one day too. There you he, go. Um, yeah. He so just out get like you get rid of those. You get rid of those and they're gone. Adrian did those, what now? Uh, he did that a couple, like a month or so ago. Like everybody got like five or six notifications. Yeah, from remember five that. different live streams. Oh, yeah, so he did that. Yeah, see what happens a lot of times if I want to test something out, I'll create an unlisted live stream and go in there and 
monitor it myself and test whatever I want to test. And then when I'm all done with it, I don't need it anymore. I just go go into that studio and uh, and delete it. It's gone forever. There you go. Okay, Chris told the other guys to come over here. Wow, that was weird. Because I couldn't go into that my dashboard and delete the other one. Stop it. Hey, Jay. Yeah, if, if you're going to use StreamYard, just always create the, the the stream in StreamYard. Then you can go back if you want to add tags and all kinds of, and edit it. Then you can go into that Creator Studio where you just were and edit it, and put it on playlists and and change the name, and do all that stuff that you can't do when you create it in StreamYard. But once you create it in StreamYard, it's there, and schedule it for future for a future date. Then uh, there won't be any confusion. I didn't know that because normally because stream your uh, YouTube studio always asks you to uh, use an encoder or something like that so I thought it wouldn't clash with StreamYard and make two streams oh okay yeah yeah if you're putting in if you're using uh, if you're responsible for the RTMP address and the key then then you would but StreamYard creates all that for you. You don't ever even have to think about stream keys when you're using StreamYard, if you create the stream in there. Yeah, you just accidentally duplicated it. That was all. Yeah. Uh, and what's funny is, if I go to, um, like, my dashboard here, I can't, there's no way to control the upcoming videos. On, on, um, yeah, yeah, there are, because you, you, the would, schedule. you would go, you, yeah, you can. You, you would go into the place content where you were before right okay hit content you would hit live this is what up, i this is what i made a placemaker for so get rid of this what's up bob it's called studio.youtube.com no, no i think that isn't that an editor i i don't know what the hell that is but that's not what what that's not your creator studio that's something else i don't recognize I, that this is where i had made the live stream up in Oh, so that was wrong. Get rid of this, right? I would not use that. I would use the other one because that's the latest version of it, the new, the new one. But okay. here's what I was here's what I was trying to tell you. When you when you go into where you just were, where you deleted those live streams, yeah. If you have upcoming live streams, they'll appear above the top line as upcoming live streams. So if you want to change the time, for example, you can go in there and edit that live stream change the time and, and save it and it'll change the time you can do anything to it you can change the thumbnail you can change the description the title there i couldn't figure out up, how to just get upcoming. rid of it get rid yeah. of the extra one yeah the up, three dots. good evening gents justin carlos jim how are you doing James. young man you're a little so, you're a little low tonight your volume is a little low really Testing mm -hmm. one, two. Let me check that out. I've got my mic up high as far as the gain, so you don't hear the fans I've got going. No, you sound you sound pretty good. The rain in I'm, Spain. There you go. That's mainly good. in the plane. That's good. So how you been, Jim? Good, my man. Good. Can't complain. No one wants to hear it. First off, I want to share that uh, that <laughs> FAA site. <laughs> well, if you put it that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like chicken soup and Jewish parents. Couldn't hurt, right? Mm. <laughs> Jay McCully. Oh, Bob Casey's <laughs> here. Hiya, Bob. Adrian's here. Good to see you. Brent Nunley. Hiya, Brent. I just don't want the guys to forget that the this is the FAA site where you can take all your testing and courses. A lot of free courses on there. Hundreds of them. For uh, YouTube. Another place is FEMA, but I won't get into that because I know you guys aren't interested in that crap. No, but I mean, if you if you were ever interested in like uh, rubber content on aircraft tire maintenance, uh, there's a course for that. Um. <laughs> but the point being that for us UAV uh, or SUAS, I don't know where they came up with this small unmanned aircraft systems. Is the is there military ones? Are they large? Because I don't see a thing for large. <laughs> unmanned aircraft systems are you going to be the guy right. that makes sense out of the way the government operates Jim oh my god no all right what I wanted to talk about well we'll talk about that later um is YouTube turned all channels 
into automatically being able to share your content via shorts. Now I'll show you. I'll explain just go to that. My, explain I'm that gonna, again. I'm gonna. All right, watch. I'm going to my channel. All right. And then I'm gonna go to my videos. And when you, let's hear. Let's go to. Well, we're on. Let's go to this video. Oh, another commercial too. Huh? No, I'm not doing it. When you go to edit your video, when you're first putting your video up, and all of yours right now have this, scroll down, and you will see a thing called shorts permission and allow embedding are automatically checked. Mine only have allow embedding, but I don't see any. Oh, shorts permissions. Yes. It's brand new. Uh, Just allows out. people to show... Uh, and you can uncheck that. It says allow people to sample yes. this content. Yeah. Well, can yeah, I get to that part? So they can use your stuff. Is that what I'm understanding? Yes. Gotcha. Yes. This is. But uh, you can you I'm can opt on. out. But then it says not all videos can opt out. So well, this yeah, I have 260 videos, so I have to go through each video and opt out. Who cares? Oh, it's a, it's a, I don't it's care. It's a every video thing. They're yes. copying in TikTok's model. That's what TikTok allows you to do. Wow. That is exactly what they're doing. They're copying it down to a T. They have uh, TikTok. Because you can save any video off of TikTok. There's a button. You can go on anybody's page and save any one of their videos right down to your phone. Onto your page? You no, know, you can download it right onto your phone. Well, you can they do that on YouTube, up, can't you? YouTube, because of TikTok and their 30 second stuff. YouTube came under a lot of pressure. So they signed up a lot of music labels, 250 to be exact, so that you could use their music without getting uh, music copyright strikes. So now that I'm showing you this, okay, YouTube turned around and said, um, don't sweat it. We're going to come out now with a bulk button where you can get rid of this shorts permission. Because Good. I don't know if you guys know anything. Why should you? There's a thing in the United States, I don't know what it is in other companies, countries, called fair use. Right. You can't steal my copyrighted work. But this is the, the, the premise, is this shorts. It allows right, people... Go ahead. Go ahead. It allows people for, to use that 60-second short stuff in their videos. Your video in their 60-second video. So it's 60 seconds or less they can use. Yeah, but right. you can you can opt out of that. Uh, but like you said, right now you have to go into every one of your videos and uncheck the permission. Well, I okay. think their fair use policy before it was 15 seconds, like on copyrighted music. That's no. why a lot of reaction channels they pause every 15 seconds. Yeah, when if you look up like fair use, you don't have to paid for it. I'm not a lawyer and I don't play one on TV. But if you look up fair use. If any video steals, let's call it the, the meat and potatoes of your video. Like if I do a video on a certain drone and you steal that portion of my video and put it on your channel, that's a violation of fair use under the federal government. Uh, but isn't there a certain liability. amount of time, though, of that fair use? Like a certain amount of time of their video. If they're taking one minute of your video and using it in their three-minute video, well, a third of their video is yours. That's an automatic copyright strike. It's a portion. Hey, Jim, real quick, you ask Art Studios, and also Mr. Jody came in saying hello, Mike A. Mike B. A. K. The Drone Ranger. What's up, guys? All saying hello to me. What's up, you? Mike Nunley came in. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But Jim, does the federal law give a certain amount of time for a video before it doesn't fall into that? Like, is it is there like a 10 second, 20 second like time limit this, that you can this, use up to? Apparently, there's uh, four seconds with the music. But as far as actual content, you see, you're running into problems here because number one, uh, you're the content creator. So therefore, you're the copyright holder. Right. You're responsible for what you post. But in your YouTube terms and conditions, you pretty much tell them that they can use when we all signed up for YouTube. 
and I had their terms and conditions up here. Now I went over to the channel with the shorts. But let me yeah. oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Ask your question. I was going to say. I was going to say. But being that you're one hundred and seven, right? Yeah. That's not necessarily a bad thing because if a big channel takes a portion of your video and you copyright strike them, you get all that money from it. So it's kind of a double edged yeah. sword. If a Except big channel they, with 10 million, you got to find it. You'll never know the claim. Hold, hold on a second. Let me, let me interject here. Um, fair use doesn't mean you can just grab 15 seconds of anybody's shit and put it on your channel. Fair right. use means right. fair use. For example, I can't take your video rename it uh, aerial photos of, of Melbourne and put it up there and, and make a 15 second video and call that fair use. But what I can do is I can say Jim Boyd is a lousy aerial photographer and let me show you why and then put 15 seconds of your video up there and criticize the hell out of it and that is fair use. You're so, making so it I a news program, yeah. Right, I am, I am uh, uh, either Using debating it. about it or criticizing it or right. commenting on it. Uh, I, I'm judging it for its editorial value, but I am not using it and as my own video. I'm not claiming I shot this, you know, here's aerial photos of Melbourne and voila, you see your aerial photos. But if I say, uh, uh, we're, we're out trying to find the best aerial photographers in, in Melbourne and we found this video from Jim Boyd and we think he's a great photographer and they play 15 seconds of your video, that's fair use. You follow, you follow what I'm saying? And it's but, convoluted uh, as hell and it's, and it's just like everything else in law, it's up to interpretation because the, the rules are, are, are peppered with words like reasonable, you know. <laughs> Yeah, and and like reasonable means somebody has to decide, has to make the decision or weigh in on what is this reasonable or is it not reasonable. And if you see these guys who take somebody else's entire YouTube music video, okay, and they have what they call reaction video to it, where they sit there and they play the video and then they stop it every, every minute or two and comment on it, uh, that's that they get away with that based on fair use and and what happens is they get tons and, and hundreds of thousands of views because people want to hear the music video okay so they put up with this clown interrupting every couple of minutes and commenting on it <laughs> hey, michael, there's Blade. Also, michael there's Blade, also jim drone and drone life rc joined us hello guys jody jody jody's Martha. old news just already. know that all your videos right now when you post a video okay all your videos down at the bottom have this allow embedding and automatically have shorts permissions in there. Right. Now, you can take them off, but you did not know they were there. I am telling you now that YouTube just did yeah. this. I, I, yeah, I, this I, is two I days it. this is two days old. Well they used to have the it used to just say allow embedding. Right. Okay. Uh, now now it talks shorts about shorts. shorts. Yeah. yeah. So someone who can steal your video. And you have to uncheck that. Now, I did, YouTube uh, gives you these surveys, and I told them that I will, see if you, I can't find it now. Every time I go to YouTube, they're asking me to do a damn survey. I told them that I will continue to fight them, and in their sampling of my videos, copyrighted material, I didn't buy a $2,000 goddamn paperweight so you can steal my video. This is not how the world works. Now, if you want to look up fair use, please do so. I've done it already. I have had videos taken down. I have had other channels shut down. So I'm not going to get into fair use with you. There's a limit on songs. I believe it's four seconds. But as far as um, using your video, there is a point at which YouTube's original terms and conditions say that they can access your videos and and use them like they've done with putting ads on them that we are all agreed to in their original terms and conditions let's go to their terms and conditions i don't know if i but, said a lot of sunrise waters he's in the house good evening and there um i want to sign jim does this really bother you well, they can take a minute of your video and nobody told you. 
Man, I'd, be, you, I, I'd actually be you, flattered if they took a minute of my video and they never would take you, it from me. Would you get an alert though if somebody did that though? That's no. the thing. If they would, that's what they need to set up. Is Isn't that, that a setting you? in YouTube's when your stuff, your name, or something like that? There's a way that you can do a search. Uh, I don't know how to do it. I heard about it that you I can go in and, and have it search other search for uses of your content in other channels. There's well, see, that's what they it. need to do, and then that way. That's why I said then it wouldn't be it wouldn't really be a bad thing to leave your videos open because then if a channel with two million subscribers grabs a chunk of your video, and they make thousand dollars off that video, that's all all of a sudden now your money. Yeah, that'd be great. I don't see anybody grabbing my stupid videos, so I don't sure, that would be a good. Um, it's like uh, how not to fly. Oh, well, you guys are nice. That's that's great. Thanks, Carl. Okay, I, I spent that. I spent a lot of money on listening. my equipment. <laughs> yes, I was listening. But that would be a good, I think, uh, you could take thing it. that you need to set up. But anyway, every video you you can uncheck the shorts part. Okay, you just sit here, go into your videos, and uncheck it shorts and uncheck allow embedding which i do on all my videos the point is they just added this short so i have 260 videos to go through now i found out today now remember this thing's only two days old i found out today that youtube is going to be putting out a bulk a button where you can bulk opt out of this shorts allowing thing uh that's great i, I i'll do that when they yes. when, when when I don't have to do two hundred or however many videos one at a time. But yes, it does annoy me, and because uh, I got a lot of money involved in this equipment, a lot of lenses, a lot of crap that I have to worry about. Now you can steal my video? No, not gonna happen, boys and girls. I will see you in court because court is only by Mitch's house. <laughs> I don't have to travel far. You have to come to Florida, so get your travel expenses ready. To Steve Carpenter join this. Steve Hello, Carpenter, Steve. how you doing, buddy? Oh yeah, Ed Love My Jones, that pro, uh, that guy. <laughs> that guy, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Ed? <clears throat> so also I saw this is brand new on um what's that? Kickstarter? A new 3D printer. It's a double extruder. I don't know, um, guys, you, you guys know that mine is still in the box. But a lot of people are interested in these things. And mine is also 300 by 300 by 280. This is even larger under whoever that is. Hey, you know what I think, you know what I think about these double extruder printers? Uh, oh, God, no. I have enough trouble with one print and getting clogged up. I can't even imagine dealing with two. That is a huge area to work with. Now I know oh, I my, see. you can do my, two different colors. Them. Yeah, because you can time. do the yeah. colors. Yeah. Now can both heads print one item at the same time? Or is it yeah, evidently they items? can. Look at that one with the stripes going around it. Yeah. They are doing uh this is Kickstarter. Did I, I let me mention that again? Oh, uh, so you gotta give them money hoping that they get their act together. Pretty much. I don't know. There's yeah. obviously customer well, reviews. How can they be customer reviews already? Because if you do Kickstarter, you're one of like if you put the money in, you're one of the first people that gets like one of the first prototypes. So some of those people may be people that actually invested in it, have already received an actual prototype, so they're doing a review on it. Ah, oh, there you are, Mike. Night train. In FPVs in the house. I is know that this, this, is that Ron Lockwood I saw behind all the uh, messages coming. Yeah. Where, oh, you're up top now. I'm behind the messages. Thanks. I move everybody. You're welcome. I move everybody around. <laughs> Good evening, Ron. For that reason. Because, you know, why can't they give you so you can put the messages down in the middle where it says stop sharing channel? Let me put the messages there. So, Ron, we did, I, I did talk about that um, shorts, but I didn't. Um, share that other site there are this is vidq which does a a big video on it and there's already lawyers doing ron alerted me to the lawyer who was doing it let me see yeah i got i took that video down damn it 
Hey, Ron, oh. did you see that last comment by Jay McCulley? They're friends, <laughs> Ron and Jay. Are That's friends. okay. It's a pretty good comment. <laughs> yeah, he's got, he got hugs and kisses in, at the end. Look I'm at not that. One, I'm not one to disagree with people in the chat. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, yeah, unless... <laughs> Holy cow! Look at Mike. He just he just typed out everybody's name. <laughs> Ron, you working? Or are you playing? What's going on over there? Is he muted? Um, we can't hear you. Don't he's hear just you. Ignore, he's just ignoring you, Carl. I see him doing the Chinese lip thing going on. He's got his uh, his set. His mic's probably muted. Uh, this guy is a lawyer. Ian Corazon, if you've ever checked him out. Now, Jess, Justin, I suggest you look at him. He also does videos on fair use. Which yeah, will I'll be, take a look at it. As a lawyer, it's much more uh, expansive than I'll go into it for you. And he discusses, oh, my God. Fair use in the USA? Well, you know, I've seen two different channels do the same music video. And one played the entire music video without pausing and another one you know paused every 10 seconds and the one that paused every 10 seconds was the one that got the strike so it's very inconsistent like i said it's all up for interpretation it it is. Is. Let, me, right. let me show you how bad it is i've got two videos of the same thing uh for drag racing <laughs> it's called drifting one video is demonetized and ineligible the other one's fine why it's that inconsistency. They don't give you a reason? Nope. And who will I contact? I'm too small. At 10,000 subscribers, you get a personal yeah. person to contact. You get an advocate who who doesn't know the answer, whereas the rest right. of us, we can't get anybody that doesn't know the answer. The and even then, word those... is, nobody knows the answer. It's like trying to call the, the, the IRS and get a problem solved. Forget well, it. I know people with advocates, and they're still hard to get a hold of. Yeah, it, it, it's absurd. You know, you either play. This is their game, okay? We have one choice, like in everything else in life. We either play by their rules, or we go play somewhere else. And that—that's that. You have to resign yourself, I think, to that if you want to be on YouTube. Can you hear me Can't, now, Jim? Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, you're good. Okay. What hey, question? What did I you have, have to do, Jim? What is with that allow embedding? If you click on that little question mark it almost kind of says the same thing well see i allow embedding on some of my videos because i have them posted on my actual website but that allow if i was reading it correctly allows anybody to do that correct With well your video let me go back and look at it have you ever have you ever done any website programming ron it's been a long time all right so there's there's usually widgets especially in WordPress where you can say okay I want to insert a YouTube video right here which and is what it, I when, do when you look at the web page it comes up like a little browser and you can actually play the YouTube video there that's an embedded YouTube if you and your video have un and don't have it checked it, it won't allow that YouTube to be embedded in one of those uh, iframes or one of those little uh, programming windows uh, it's because of, of the fact that I always uncheck the allow embedding that I found the shorts permission two days ago. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't, you know, the, the it was never there. Get up in arms about that. Well, once YouTube gets sued, then they'll learn. But they don't care. They don't care. No, Jim. no, they got enough money. And lawyers, uh, they don't care bank, if you yeah. sue them. Yeah, you you know, no big no big organization cares if they get sued. They, that's all built into their budget, and they got a department for that. Uh, may I interject and ask Ron Locke with a question, Jim? Go ahead, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. I appreciate that comment. Hey, Ron, uh, <laughs> how's that balloon flying photography uh, journey going? Anything? Uh, very well. Um, Any more or newer? Uh, developments i'm trying to remember when i last spoke to you but the gal <laughs> that i photographed um sits on the board of chamber of commerce and she wants me to come to a board meeting soon wait you said the gal that i photographed the, the, the her balloon that i photographed ah, okay okay um wants me to come to a chamber of commerce meeting and um she talked to the 
the director or head person there, but um, definitely, definitely wants to use me for, she said, I have a lot of ideas and projects I know that we're, we want to use you for. So, um, so that first video, yeah, I got a free balloon ride. I got a three, $400 balloon ride out of the deal. And yeah, I shot a video, spent an hour and a half on editing, you know, but I had a hell of a lot of fun, you know. Why do they cost so much? That's how much it would be if I wanted to go on a balloon ride? Yeah. $300? Oh, that's not that much. I think it's the insurance. To put your life on the line? Yeah, it's yeah. a piece of cake. Those, uh, those, number one, those things those things go through 100 bucks worth of propane in one flight. Oh, easy. Easy. And uh, and they cost a lot of money. The average little small balloon is, you know, it's between like twenty to 50000 bucks, And you got repairs, you got maintenance, you got inspections, annual inspections, just like any other aircraft. I'm surprised they could you give you a ride repairs. for 300 bucks. And they, I think they give a little... <laughs> little bit to their ground crew too because you got a couple guys that chase you yeah in a vehicle you know that's so what i was saying the land, you know they've got to be right there to you know, grab the ropes you know get a hold of you and get you tied down to the ground ron before you went up did you sign a waiver uh actually no i didn't that's you didn't. didn't really i was more worried about my equipment than myself Oh, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, so I always turn off the embedding, and, and like I said, that's how I found out about the shorts thing that they added two days ago. And I told Ron this as soon as I did, and then he saw Ian Corazon, the lawyer's video on it, and then we were discussing that. But I embed videos into my uh, website anyway, and what I was, I had these turned off. So I was wondering, because it doesn't say, if I turn that off, does that mean I can't put it in my own website? But they're still there. I, I, don't see, I don't see how it could possibly know that that was your website. Right. When you're, yeah. But uh, you do, I can add my website into Google as part of its uh, partner program. So that way they would know it is my website. You know, not that it's right, guys, but you know, Chris Hope had a you know, a good comment the other night. He's like, you know what? Um, you put your videos on YouTube for free. And yeah, it's their which kind of gives free. them that kind of right to do. Not that it's right, but it kind of gives them that right to do whatever they want. No, it's like saying this is my basketball court. You want to play? You play by my rules, or go find another bas basketball yeah, court. Exactly. That's what they say. That's their attitude. That's, That's what they attitude. did with adding ads to everybody's channel. Yeah, they're entire. I'll tell you what I did, Jim. Is I just I'm, I wasn't monetizing my videos because I didn't want people to have to watch these stupid ads. But now I, I'm monetizing everything, and I'm figuring if they're going to run ads on my video, I'm at least going to get my one or two penny cut out of it because well uh, what i like about it is you can you can cut out different ads unskippable ads you can uncheck that yeah i do i only put the skip i, I uncheck everything except the skippable ads that you have to have that checked you can't all right quick question mike night train for the motorcycle guys out there yeah uh 2005 yamaha v star 650. yeah it's a widowmaker <laughs> Why? Because if you crash, the party's over. Uh, well, that's any motorcycle. <laughs> exactly. I've nice crashed several times. I haven't, I'm not dead. I went through that phase in my life. What are your thoughts on the 2000 V Star? Is that a, a, it's, it's a Yamaha? It kind of looks like that same um, the Suzuki. Yeah. That's a little cruiser, isn't it? Yeah. A little cruiser style V twin, uh, six fifty. It, it's not not a real big motor. That's nice. Bob. okay, bike. Yes, yes, Bob. You can get YouTube Premium and be ad free. You buy that though. That's fifty dollars yeah. a month. How Is much? That much? No, I thought it was like fourteen no, that, bucks. It's oh. like twenty five for the family sharing if you want like your whole family to oh, be able to shit. use it, and then it's like ten or fifteen just for a single use, like on your phone. Uh, what am I talking about? The YouTube channel? It's a, it, it's a channel no, that it, plays movies and everything. It's They want $40 a month. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's YouTube different, TV. That's different. Yeah. YouTube TV, yeah. 
That's what yeah, I'm talking about. Yeah, you can about. get the ad free for what? Oh, I, the TV is different. 10, 15 bucks a month. I thought it was like, like ad free was only 10, 15 dollars. Yeah, 15. Well, yeah, that's only for the consumer watching the video, though. But as the person that's running the channel, the ads are still there. Like, you yeah, can't buy that for your channel. I'm going to give them more money. I, I subscribe to a channel called Peacock, which is NBC's. It's four ninety nine a month, and I only do it because I like this one show. It's called New Amsterdam. See, New York used to be called New Amsterdam in the original 1500s or whatever. And it's about Bellevue Hospital being... Bellevue Hospital used to be the shittiest hospital in the world. Anyway, it's come a long way. Geraldo Rivera used to do specials on Bellevue Hospital. It was that bad. You know that's where they take the kooky people, right? Yeah, yeah, Rikers Island patients and everything no, going there. Bellevue, good. take all the nut jobs. Yeah, that like, that like Green Moore Hospital. Mike That's because they sure. closed down. I was going to say, um, Mike, make sure you're paying more than $50 for that motorcycle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, he got a ring for that $50. Anyway, okay, I'm going to take this off. This was my big thing I was pissed off about. The allowing betting was already there. But the shorts permission was not there. Now they are. They said they are coming out with a bulk button, where you'll be able to go to your channel, I guess editor. I don't know, and uh, be able to get rid of all the uh, shorts permissions. Well, Mike's got a um, link for that bike that was for sale. I guess this poor bastard. He had a barbecue underneath the soffit of his house in case it rained and the damn house caught fire guy can't get a break come on come about on. mics no, no this video i just put up oh, oh. i was about to say <laughs> mike's video no <laughs> oh, poor bastard anyway stop sharing okay so we shared that this is uh on ian corazon's site he he runs all through it and actually, it was VidIQ that turned around and told you that why they were doing it. It was because of TikTok. Here you are. Here's your YouTube license. When you first sign up, you also grant each other user of the service a worldwide, non-exclusive, royalty-free license through the content, blah, 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 blah. But the United States has something called fair use, which disallows that. So watch his videos on fair use and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Yeah, is he gonna about. represent oh. is he gonna represent us for free in court, this lawyer? <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised if they're trying to get the law changed if that's what the route that they're going. That could be a sign okay. that they're lobbying for that. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't get some kind of special waiver for like a year or two and then in that year or two they'll get the law changed. Not How gonna are we going to litigate? How are we going to litigate all of this minutia that's generated from this kind of crap? And where, the other thing the, is, okay, does this? What if you're not part 107? Does yeah, this take? Time, this has got nothing to do. This has got nothing to do with 107. This is a copyright issue, isn't it? Oh wait, yes, it is a copyright issue. But I forgot that shorts cannot be monetized. So. There's no one on seven crap involved. I take that back. Forget I ever said it. God, you know, this is just making my brain hurt. You know, there's a short beta thing on cell phones that you can do. Did you look at, did you see that, Jim, or any of you guys? No, I've been Tell using me. it. You what is it? it? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's just, I haven't used it. It says uh, short and beta. And what you do is... Okay. Bit IQ, no, bit I don't know. IQ you know better than me, it. Jim. What you do is you it's click the short it. button and you upload only up to a one minute video. Right. And then it uploads it into the shorts, which you see on your main page. It's those little, you know, stand up videos that you can scroll through. And they're all just one minute videos and you can just endlessly scroll through them just like TikTok. And I think it's uh, my it's idea a, of a night out. It's Apparently a, it's right yeah, there really. on your watch page. <laughs> it's a... A special format. It's supposed to be a perfect box, eh, I believe. No such thing. But here's the thing. <laughs> I think they'd do it for you. They the did an time. experiment, okay? Mitch, they went and they, they used music, and they used it in a short, and it gets no copyright violation. So then VidIQ went, downloaded their own video, 
deleted their short, uploaded the video again, longer than and didn't call it a short, not under the short format, and got a copyright claim. Hey Jim, music. we have a gentleman called Mika Steve in the house. That's uh, different. Rigor Mortis oh. also joined us. And he's evidently from down under because he said good day. Yeah, he's on um, with Roger on uh, Canadian Drone Hub. Good oh, okay. Day. Roger who? Steve. Don't answer that. Brad Alston is in the house. Hi, Brad. Sorry, my hey. wife. I cut it. Brad Alston is the one that makes all these lanyards and things, and he made coasters that he uses with his. He's got a laser printer. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Here's the coaster. I got the it's coaster like, here. From yeah, yeah. Let me show that coaster. Hold it up again, Mitch. <laughs> let me make it larger. That's, that's not, not me. Mitch. That's not me either. Where the hell are you? I uh, said you got me down here in left field. There we are. Yeah, there you are. And that's all etched in or yeah. quote unquote burnt in. And then he shellacks it. He hits it with a little uh, click coat. Yeah, they're very nice. Does a great job on them. And we all thank him uh, because everybody got one. He took the time to make one for uh, the lanyards and, and the name tags yeah. and all that for anybody who had pre-registered. You know, if he knew your name. No, he filled mine out on on uh, on site. Yeah, yours, yours was uh, nice a special one. Yeah, you're a special case. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, Carlos, just for the record, I like your name tag. Thanks. <laughs> Pete's. P R I C K was his name tag. Yeah. <laughs> but that that's a very special compliment. As Ed said earlier, it's a term of endearment. It is. <laughs> Staying vertical so far. Hard to order a bottom plate for the freestyle. Got two broken arm trying to do a Rubik's Cube. I ordered two. Wow, what the hell are you doing to your drums, Ed? Breaking them? Yeah, trying to be fancy like everybody else. You know, I was looking up, since this whole thing got me into looking at YouTube crap, I was looking up at their encoders, and they don't list StreamYard, but they do list Xbox and OBS and all that other stuff to automatically encode and do a live video is what I'm talking about. Because well, obviously, obviously, hey, obviously it works. Obviously it works. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, I don't understand how it's not an encoder. Ed uses Xbox, which is oh, right online. here on the damn computer. Well, the online gaming community is huge, too, though. That's why. You see, that's what I never got. You know, people can sit there and do eight-hour, live-hour games, game streams, but they'll bitch about our videos being three or four minutes. No, is somebody really just, watching a game stream? But who bit? Yeah, the people are nuts. But who bitches about a video other than the watcher? Video times. Other than the people who aren't watching it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but there's no limit on live. These, these people live stream all kinds of shit. They got you know, twenty four seven twenty four seven live streams of a camera showing a an live intersection print somewhere or a print. A three D printer gone right, right. For, it's yeah, like watching right. paint dry for God's sakes. The ones that get me, Jim. I saw yeah. one today. It's a, a video of a of a of a of a parrot, a little parrot doing something cute, you know. Seventeen right. million views. <laughs> Here you go, Carlos. Okay, people bitching. No, they just don't watch. It's a three minute, four minute video. They watch two minutes of it. All right, you see that? I know. I know totally what you mean. But that's how you're going to get better views by using that short those shorts because people are going to sit and watch a minute video, scroll through. But and they're I more likely that, to hit that like I button. I don't think, uh, well, I don't know. I'm not interested in the view count. Are you uh, interested in view count, Jim? Do you make money from views? This is the thing. See, this you drift want, racing right here. Night. Wait, let me tell you something. This drift racing video was ineligible for monetization. Why? I, I don't understand it. Uh, seriously, can, can we go into that? And I, can I show you? Can you show us this video and... We'll no, I want to show you where they tell me it's not monetizable. Where do I want to do that, Mitch? Say what? Hello, hello, Chris Hope. I, I want to show these guys how. And look at this: a hundred percent of the people that watch the video are not subscribed to me. That's that really incredible. Un that's very unusual. 
But really? that's that's but that's an off-topic subject for a drone for a drone channel. True. Although this is one of the places I want to take you guys to fly at. I but, think we uh, saw where they were riding the uh, ATVs also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got several of them from out there. And Mitch, uh, and Mitch and I uh, flew out there once. Hey, Mitch. I, yeah, and uh, you, not Mitch. And, uh, Jim, hate to interrupt. Lauren Denor. Denor, Denor yeah. Lawrence from Canada. And he also... Steve, again, undressed. And Chris Hope joined us. Not that that's a big deal, but just for the rip. What's up, Chris? So, what's up, Chris? Yeah, Jim, I guess okay, we have Chris. to go out. Speak we have to go devil. out there to the. Uh... Hey, Chris. I got you big deal, PP. <laughs> Ryan. How are you? How are you, Chris? I'm good, Jimbo. Christopher, now Chris Friends. said, Chris Go said ahead. one of the first ones to say, you know what, guys, it's YouTube servers. Screw them. Let them do what they want. Right? What I what I, to, what I told you, are you paying for any of this? I'm and right. I'm not. Me neither. So they can they can do what they want to. <laughs> we can bitch all we well, want. They're a private company. They're not a government agency. They're not supported by our tax dollars. Correct. They just act like one. Hey, Lauren. Well, when They're you bigger than the government. Mix, you just get all confused. <laughs> they do. I mean, it is their servers. We know all about that. But just the way they turn around, and they did that shorts without telling anybody two days ago. And uh, it was kind of sneaky. What I don't like is the ads. All that embedded crap, I could care less. But the ads, that's annoying now. Kinda You're not away. getting paid for them. My channel's not even monetized, and half my videos have ads on them. Yeah. Same as the rest of us. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, you can go online. I don't remember the name of the website offhand, but you can go on there, and it will actually tell you how much YouTube has made off of each one of your videos. So one of my videos, they've made like twenty or thirty dollars off of, and it's an unboxing video. It's not even really? flight footage. Because one of my videos has two point two thousand views, like two point two k views, and I haven't made a single dime off of it. But they've made like twenty or thirty dollars or something off of it. Well, is your channel monetized? No. So well, you, you know. But you can still see what they um, have yeah. made off of each well, video. You can look made. up anybody's channel on there. All you have yeah, to do is social, put your we're talking about so, social, social media. Social media? Yeah. Social, social blade. blade. Yeah, social, social blade. blade. Yeah. Mike Kenny in the house. What's up? Mike hey, Kenny Mike. asked, is there a way of figuring out how many different YouTube channels are on YouTube? Huh. It's like, on it's like how many websites are on the internet? Google it. <laughs> well, if you Google no it, they might have an answer. It's got to be billions. Around the world now, around the world, right? Pretty much. Oh, well, you know, they they say only like, I think it was 8 or 10% of videos actually ever get at least one view or more. Because there's like millions and millions of videos out there that have been sitting on YouTube for years and have never gotten a single view. Or like, right. they're just sitting on a channel. Imagine what it costs them to maintain that kind of online storage when you think of oh, how much. Man, what is what a server! Hey, yeah. Jim. I mean, look when this. I look at just Short the sum total. Is checked. See that? I didn't. I didn't get this video. I missed. Hey, Jim. It. Yes, sir. I've got a off-topic uh, question. I got to leave shortly, but um, that camera that I talked about in your last live stream, I have gotten rid of it. I think I told you. Um, more so, I you know the, the eight bit color and everything. I, I I really started to recognize that. Well, the big reason was the camera stopped charging. Or something. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought it was the cord or the battery, so I changed batteries. I changed um, uh, charge cords. Still won't charge. But my question to you guys, you or anybody, um, I went with two models up, and um, this particular this camera is intended. Um, records in XABC long UHD 4K. What I've read 
is it's not in a like an MP4 format. But from what I've been told or what I've read, it's uh, supposed to be a lot better image than like in a like an MP4. So I'm curious. Is it an MF? And that, what me. is it again? What is it again? X A B C long UHD 4K. I've never heard of that. <laughs> MFX is normally something like Ari Red is a R3D file. So yeah. it's XA? XA, B is in Victor C. Long, it says. Hello to Mike Roche while you're typing away. Uh, it's Sony's own codec. Oh, okay. It supports HD and uh, 4K, but you know, not DCI 4K, 4K 3840 by 2160. Right. Um, but you'll still, that will still get converted when you go into, uh, well, I into whatever you use. If you use iMovie or whatever, it'll convert it into an uh, MP4 file for YouTube use is what you're worried about, right? Being right, able to yeah. Your videos. yeah. There'll be uh, encoding, which is a codec. Coding and, and decoding. Uh, now, whether it, I wondered whether it'll go into 264 or 265. I think it's 265. So what the AVC is advanced video codec, which should be like HEVC is high efficiency video codec. That's 265. But let's see what they're calling their own now. We have to accept their cookies. Okay, sorry. Good luck, drone bomb. He's going out to get gas. Yeah, uh, I was going to ask you guys. You guys have an issue with gas in Florida? I don't know. No. My wife just uh, left to go get it, so we'll find out when she gets back. What Why is everybody running out to get gas? Is there supposed to be a shortage? Yeah, oh, I'm in Florida. That pipeline. Oh, in Florida. Okay. There's a pipeline. I, I went and got gas today, and the price was the same as it was two weeks ago. So, which is odd because it went up 18 cents too. Yeah, I mean it was same. I paid two two seventy something for it today. I saw a video in California. Somebody posted on TikTok today, and it was over eight dollars a gallon. Well, that's Jeez. fucking crazy. It is <laughs> a super high test with a little. Platinum. Pardon my French. <laughs> Everything in California is like that. Steve Carpenter, how do you do it? How do you even live there? Yeah, Steve would know. Yeah. They rape oh, they're losing people every day. Now. I paid seven two seventy five and and I'm uh, outraged because a year ago it was a dollar seventy five. <laughs> yeah. All because he shut down the XL pipeline and gonna make us yeah. a third world country again. When we get back to here we jam. go. Let's not go let's not get <laughs> Yeah, into yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there was a there's a there's a It's bad enough we're all upset about YouTube tonight, you know. What were you gonna well, say, Mr. Uh, Chris? There's a there's a pipeline company called Colonial Pipeline who had ransomware attack last Friday. It's in your state of the wood, uh, your neck of the woods. And they shut the they shut their pipeline down to keep from having issues. Oh, that's what the that's what they're talking about. The yeah, pipeline. it's the whole yeah. southeast is getting. This isn't like the a, fact that they shut down the pipeline to Canada. No, no. It's, you know, this is else. a different deal. It's ransom, ran, ransomware. I'm going to hold you hostage, and you pay me, and I'll give you your pipeline back. The but southeast you know, is uh, getting hit the hardest with it from it. Yeah, it's all up the east coast, running from the Gulf Coast of Texas up along through Florida, all the way up the east coast up to. Now, how long would that last with IT guys today? Well, Friday. Just, they're hoping to get it back by Friday. That's yeah, what I heard. Be, it should be short. I would imagine it'd be short lived. Yeah, yeah. Like, whatever happened to just opening a fucking valve? Like, you got to have a program to do that now? Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. God. Every, right. Everything is, con you know, it's just like the electric grid. I mean, it's so freaking complicated now. Does this I, not I, prove this technology? Does this not prove that the Internet of Things is stupid? If your refrigerator is hooked up to your cell phone, you're an idiot. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know those new Samsung refrigerators? You can actually look in your fridge while you're at the store to see if you forgot to get some. They'll scan it's, your items, and they'll tell you that you used milk. You, Do you, you want to replace your milk? milk? Yeah, you're running out of milk. <laughs> your damn cell phone will tell you. 
Hey, I can't, I can't really complain because I have a uh, robot vacuum and two robot mops that clean my house. For me. <laughs> and they're all automatic. When the vacuum gets done, the mops go out and mop the floor. Yeah, but that's different. That's, <laughs> I get that totally. Uh, just, just... I show everybody with a blue wrench, Carlos. Do you see it the same? Mika, Mika. Let me yes. see Mika. Oh, that okay. Way. That's the only Lauren, one. Lauren doesn't have a, a wrench? Lauren didn't before. Lauren and Mika. But I mean, Ed is on it. He's like, you know, watch it. I went to uh, CES 2020 with Lauren. Got out. Yeah, the chat inside the green, like in the backstage, is very bare bones. You can't even type in it. I, I just use a why. cell phone on the side. Yeah, I don't know why they don't allow you to type. They don't show you anybody with blue wrenches. It doesn't show you anything. It's very bare boned. Wow. Um, Matt, North, uh, Ron, is it appropriate to share this? Chris, is it appropriate to share it? Not good news, huh? No. Matt North is uh, hasn't had his stream for the last two weeks because he's been at the hospital with his dad. Right. Oh, man. And uh, his his... His dad passed away, and so oh, I, I want to. My sincere condolences to him. I mean, we've talked to him on Messenger every now and then, each one of us, and see how he was doing. You know how hard it is to lose a parent. Yep. At least yeah. he had him for a decent amount of time. I lost my yeah. one. My father was twenty-eight. My father turned. When, 60. I'm sorry. When I was twenty-eight. <clears throat> When my father turned 60, he passed away, putting a tie on and going to work. I have Florida. noticed Matt's been absent from YouTube for the last week or so. He, he did a last video saying he's going to take a break for a while. Oh, I didn't even see that. I just noticed that he hadn't been posting or anything. I didn't even notice that. He, I didn't see that video. So uh, I don't know if this is too personal. Died of cancer or something else? What did he die? He's 85 and he had multiple oh, so compli complications. Yeah. Gotcha. That's no fun. He can't. Uh, All right, he can't Steve type. I'm sure dressed. he's watching, but he can't type. Okay. No, I hit Micah Steve. Well, he's still. Uh... Still white. I saw Lauren Dunauer as white, and it told me I already added him as a moderator. So maybe so. it's a YouTube deal. It's their problem now. Sorry, I'm on guys. the YouTube. <laughs> Not the guys on the chat. YouTube chat. Yeah, YouTube. I'm so. looking at YouTube chat, and Lauren Dunauer is coming out white. And when I go and click the three buttons, it's the only option no, I have is she's to blue remove. on my chat. But she's Can blue on my minutes. chat. Lauren Donauer oh. is blue on my chat now. Lauren is Canadian and it's a guy. Just so Lauren. You know. Oh, Lauren. Okay. Lauren. He's he is blue on my on my chat. All right. He's not on mine. And now at Mika Steve I did for a second time. Mika's and, good, he and says. And Mika okay. Steve just came up white again on mine. Said I'm good guys, and it came up white. So and type one more time. It should be blue. Anybody's got Apple products? I just put another update out. You got uh -uh. to push, push the ad, Jim. Don't block them, okay? Hey, Jim, I had something absolutely amazing happen to me today. Oh God! You, you want to hear about it? Uh, absolutely no. friggin' amazing. First time in my entire life. I took my Mavic Two out to that park this morning. To fly, right. uh, I actually I got I got a lance clearance in three seconds. I turned the drone and the controller on. They connected. I got no update notices. My compass did not need calibrating. The thing took off and flew flawlessly and landed. And I took it home. It's a miracle. Do that twice. <laughs> <laughs> update all modules. <laughs> Will not fly. Another paperweight you, for the collection. You haven't fixed that yet, huh? You haven't got no. that working? Spent five no, hours but honestly, on God, This is the first time I think I ever flew that drone where it didn't give me any grief whatsoever. Mr. 400 AGL joined us, Jim. I am out. Do you really feel like fixing it, Jim, or just retiring it? Being like, screw uh, it. I actually love the drone. It's, it's a it's, great drone. Its quality is only second to the X5S camera I have. It, it is a very good drone. Do you, do you need an address for the trash can? 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I've got drone nerds down here in uh, Adventura, Florida. Sell it for parts. Jim, have you tried different batteries, too? Yeah. Because I thought maybe, because normally you'll get that inconsistent firmware and you'll be able to slide it. But it did tell me that there was a remote control. First of all, I updated the Go app <clears throat> on the iPad. I had to do that. Then I uh, turned it on and it said there was a, a remote control update. I up downloaded and updated that. It all went fine. Then it said there was a firmware update. I assume for the drone. So I did that, it downloaded fine, and it went on. I shut everything off, turned it back on, still says update all modules. Hmm. I wonder what? if it was a failed update. No, it said this beforehand. Oh, okay. And then I updated everything and it still says it. So, and no, no camera transmission and no battery information. Hmm. Doesn't this sound familiar? Like what happened to the 210? Because the serial number wasn't coming up, the battery information. It'll tell me the battery is 86%, but when you go into the battery cells, they're all empty. Did and you, already no... put it, you put it into your DJI assistant, Thomas? Oh, my Thomas, God. Thomas. I went to assistant two, downloaded it, took it off uninstalled it twice, reinstalled it twice, used three different cables because I only have three USB-C cables. It never recognized the drone at all. Hmm. I wonder hey, if it's you? a bad sensor or something on it. Do you? I guess this is the last did Jeffrey, Jim. Call DJI. I know their tech support sometimes is pretty much useless. But no, Lauren, I'm, Lauren I'm talking about the material. The Mavic 2 Pro. Update all modules. Let me see. If I, let me do it. Well, you might just it. have that one weird glitch that nobody else has ever gotten. Because I tried looking up some videos to see if anybody else has had any issues with that. And I couldn't find no information on it. I hey. see it on DJI's forum. But that everybody says, well, just go use uh, Assistant 2 and you'll be fine. Well, that's not true. It won't connect to Assistant 2. Did yep, you, it is bound to the controller. Did you right downgrade back. the version of the system too? It will not let me. Really? Yeah, I can't. I did not find a, another. I did that stupid thing and upgraded the system two to point fourteen, when I should have left it alone because it was only an update for the Mavic Mini S. Uh, you know what? S. Um, Jim, out me. I'll look for you tonight on the, the Mavic. Pilot site. I remember seeing one of them once before, um, where somebody was having problems connecting. So, what they did was they completely deleted Assistant Two off their computer. Somebody on the Mavic Pilot site provided a link for an old version, and you could, I actually clicked on that link, downloaded that version, recognized my drone every time. Yeah, but I think DJI put that thing in place now where you can't go back. It's really? impossible to go back well, to an Assistant older version. Assistant 2 is a program on your computer. It's not firmware on the drone. Yeah, so, but yeah, you can always delete it. You can always wipe out a program on your computer and install a previous version. Oh, uh, okay. I thought he was talking about firmware. Yeah. Because I don't have the Pro 2, so. Yeah, Jim. Yeah, Bob. Chris. Did you, you said you put the DJI, you re up, you redid your go out? Yes, sir. Did you log back in? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I logged in, and then you have to hit the three permissions. You have to give it access to your, all your information, your flight records. Now watch this. Shows nothing. Nothing's wrong. I'm all updated here. Go fly. Right now, the drone's on and sitting right next to me. So we're gonna hit right. go fly. Go fly. There you go. Where, where are we going? Well, look at the big red X. What is it? Now, the red X is your status. You've never seen a DJI drone? Well, well yeah, but I can't read yeah, what can't it read says it, next to the... It's, this, this it's blurry. Goddamn Logitech Brio. All right, so I'm going to hit the overall status. Version mismatch. Update all modules. 
I don't know. I never saw that message. <laughs> now there is no camera. Here's the drone. Jim, yeah, did you try? Camera. All turned on. I was going to say, did you try the on switch? Could be something real stupid. <laughs> now let me let me just take this X that out, so you can now see that. Ah, uh, update your flight. No, there's no camera. Although there is a battery number up here, there is no actually battery information. Let me show you, because it says NA. There, there's my battery information. Well, you have no telemetry either, do you? Well, I'm in the garage. It's not going to have any GPS. No, so it's telemetry. almost like it's It'll still say energy. distance, distance, altitude, speed. It'll say zero, but is that there? Yeah, that's there. Okay. One zero one's N A. But that was working and the map was working fine. The radar was working fine. Just no video. Let me move the drone. So it's a partial connection then. It's only partially connecting. Because oh, some I of hate this stuff this. is coming up, but not all of it. This uh Logitech Rio is killing me. But that's what I get, boys. Version mismatch update all modules. No camera. The map information is there. The radar is correct. The drone tells you 86% battery, but when you click on the battery. Yeah, it's not good. They're questioning your cable connection in the There's chat. the battery. Hmm. I've used different cables. You mean this cable? I'm assuming that's what they think talking about. Yeah, I've used uh, different cables. Did you try a different device? Yeah, it's a... I mean, I'm just trying to come up with any other thing you could yeah, try. You, like the whole did you process update, of elimination. Update the batteries? Yes, uh, but I believe that was a long time ago. And the only way to update the batteries is through DJI Assistant 2. And it will uh, not connect to Assistant 2. I do not get in the I drone? don't no, I don't get the notice in consistent firmware, which you will normally get if your batteries are not um, the right version. I will you will get that inconsistent firmware, Carlos, look at me. And then you just take your finger and slide it and it updates the battery. Hey Jim. Yeah, bro. Okay, go back to the home screen. Yeah. And you probably know this, but in the top right hand corner, if you put your, not that screen, the one before it. I'm going to go, I see, oh, I see, yeah, I did that. You did that. Okay? If you, if you hold the corner button, which I'm going to do, top right. You, if you hold the three hamburgers, it'll come up with a version. If you got to hold it for like, what, seven seconds? Yeah. Okay, it. there it is. What's it There's say? your version. What's it the say? version says, 1.00.0770 and that is what I'm on so if I do a firmware refresh okay nothing will happen it will not update because it's already on that I'm guessing but it just goes and tells me that update is not uh, did you update the controller Ed yes sir no? okay. yes I had to update the DJI Go 4 app on this iPad. I had to update the remote controller, and I had to update the firmware. Hey, this might be a stupid question, Jim, but did you do an Apple update on the iPad? Because they've been putting updates like crazy out the last yeah. two weeks. They've put no. three or four different updates out that may be affecting the app. It could be. Here's the possible. problem. This has been like this for how long, Ron? Well, two, they did two months. Quite a while, yeah. A couple months. Okay, I was gonna say because they've done three or four updates in the past like month. Yeah, but that wouldn't stop his drone from connecting to DJI Assistant on the computer. Which, that's a uh, that's another problem. Now I tried using this. Now I don't know. This is from Sony. This is my Sony uh, headphones, and it's short, short cable. So I tried that, and then I tried your damn dollar store my you know because i buy these cables by the dozen uh usb-c cable connectors i tried using 
and um, assistant just stays on the white page. After I'm logged in, after I agree to the three yes settings, you have to turn them on, and then nothing. It, the, the, the blue box doesn't come on where you press on the blue box and see your firmware and flight logs and all that. I can't get any of that. EC suggests using it on another device or another drone. And this thing w. is still zero updated because it's already out there firmware. Wait, <coughs> guys, I got to pop out. I got to head to work. So. It says firmware installation failed. Restart and try again. But I'm already at that firmware version. Yeah. Take your drone. Yeah. All right, Ron. Thank you, brother. I, I think it's again. definitely a connection it, issue, though, because right. it's only partially connecting some of the. Like it's showing you the map and the radar and all that, but it's not showing you the camera or anything. Jim, Did you it try the same me... phone that you, uh, the same cable that you charge your phone with? No, I tried. Uh, I only have three USB-C cables, and I tried all three. Jim, yes. it seems to me that until you can figure out how to connect that to your computer and get that part to work, the rest is just going to drive you crazy. Because yeah, because something... it sounds connected. No, that's to the drone. I mean, right. to the controller. That's right. not connected. That, I'm talking about the fact that if you can't get that drone to communicate with your DJI assistant. Now, do you have, you have a Phantom or some other drone there that uses assistant too? What happens if you try to plug that into your computer? Does that the work? The Matrice uses Assistant 2, but a different version, and that works. That works? Yeah. And you sure you're using the right version of Assistant 2 to try to connect to the Mavic? Just because I thought I wasn't, I went to DJI's page and downloaded. And downloaded 14, again, okay. Which, I, which updated to 14.14, and that's only for the Air 2S, so I didn't even need to do that, but I did. Let me see what, let me see what version, if I can see what version of Assistant 2 that I have here. Here it is, uh, Assistant 2 for Mavic. I have... Uh, Hang on a second. It takes a because worst yeah, case scenario, it's probably going to be a chip or something inside the drone. I it's have version chip. two two point oh point eight is what I have here. Leave it there. Oh, I'm not the, upgrading it. it no, no, I'm there. just saying the only updates are for the Air Two S. Right. And so you don't I have them. version. I have version two point oh point eight. I had to update to the um, 14. 14, huh? Wow. Yeah. Because uh, I said, okay. And then there used to be the problem of DJI not connecting with Windows because the drivers are signed in Chinese. They're not English signed. So I went onto my computer, Windows 10, in troubleshooting mode, and you can turn off not allowing unsigned uh, apps, so uh, drivers that is, and you, you'll see it in your device manager. So I allowed the driver, but here you see. Did you check the port on the drone to see if the port was broken? Hey Jim, I got a suggestion for you. Yes. Grenade. Come over to my house. Bring your drone over to my house. Okay. And let me try to plug it. Let me try to plug it into my computer with this version of DJI Assistant, and we'll find out real quick if there's something wrong with the drone or if it's something wrong with the software or whatever. And maybe we can get a handle on it. So anytime now, you want, you let me know. There's the only reason to update if you have a Mavic Air 2 along with your Mavic 2 Pro. So I didn't yeah. need to update to 14. I don't need to update to to, to 12. The only one that actually has anything to do with um, 2 was the, I think it was the version 8. See, this is the Mavic Mini. There it is, version 8, DJI Smart Controller update. Well, we got we to gotta get your, your drone back to the previous version of the firmware. And I think that will go a long way towards solving the problems. And you see where I said the problem about... Uh, the Windows 10, look at this. In version 7, they fixed an issue where assistant software cannot be installed or used on some Windows 10 systems. 
And, you know, they update Windows 10 like three times a day anyway. So what worked yesterday, half the time, a lot of times doesn't work today. Yeah, limited vertical for the link. He says, uh, look at this post from a thread, which sounds similar. Okay, I'm going to do that. Problem. I just Mitch, went and looked through the forum, and I found 50 posts of all people saying they're having the same problem. Yeah, no, I'm no, no answers. Modules. No answers, though, just problems. They all say they all say that they got it fixed by connecting it to DJI Assistant 2. And I can't but, do that. That's my yeah, only I, problem. I, that's why I'm saying so. That's where we need to start. And uh, give me a call and jump in your car and drive over to my house. I'm 10 minutes away from you, and we will throw but it Mitch, onto a whole different computer. I thought they blocked it to where you can't go backwards on the firmware. Now. They did. I can't go back. I tried looking for it to, to go back. You normally, like Chris showed you, if you press that button in the top right corner, the hamburger, it will have more than one version of firmware there. But now they don't do that anymore. Just the latest ver firmware oh, is there. God. Yeah, it was because people were using that to like get around certain systems in the drones like to be able to get around like geo zones and stuff like that i think yeah that's well that's what that. they were using for uh what's that what's that no limit drones no limit drones yeah that's yeah. What they would... so now no limit drones does complete print, printed circuit boards yeah they have their own boards now yeah that's nuts yeah you know the, the answer to this whole thing is don't buy dji drones unfortunately i'm so you know i'm so sick and tired of it yeah i know you, you, you know i really am guys and it's, it's thousands of dollars in in repair fees, and I'm tired of it. Yeah, I guess you're going to have to go to Drone Nerds if you and Mitch can't figure it out. Steve, Steve <laughs> right. Carpenter is saying I'll be, I'll be happy to I'll be happy to uh, pull what little hair I have left out of my head to help see if we can't get it working, Jim. So give me a, give me a call sometime tomorrow, whenever you want, and uh, I'm usually around. Hey, anyway, I'm going to take I'm... off, guys, and go finish my cigar, and uh, I'll watch you out there on the TV. Sometimes uh, a fresh set of eyes is the best way, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, uh, either that or it's because it, it could it, be something really stupid that you're going to slap yourself for. It, it, you well, know, let me you tell know. you something. It did this for no reason. It worked the day before, and then the next day when I went to go fly, it wouldn't. It came up with version mismatch. Well, that was your mistake, Jim. You you actually thought you could fly the thing. <laughs> Here's what I thought might have happened, Mitch. Tell me. The last flight I did with it was the one where I shot the rocket going up. I'm in the no-fly zone. But the rocket was, the drone was already in the air when the rocket went up. Yeah. Could, could that have somehow? Uh, yeah, but it, 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 yeah, no. but it, okay. it, I doubt it would have made any permanent changes that would have affected the following flight. So bring it, bring it over, bring it over to house and uh, we'll see if we can uh, figure out what the hell it is. All right, guys. Hey, Mitch. See, see you me. next time, everybody. Good night. Good night. It is so frustrating, guy. I can't tell you how many hours I spent on this yesterday. When I said Four. it could be something really crazy or something really stupid. Because I pulled my hair out on projects like that where I couldn't figure it out, and it turned out to be something really dumb. But yeah, when I... Many, Okay. When I turned on, um, after I uploaded, updated the Go4 app, it had me update to the point zero seven seven zero, and it had me up. That's the firmware for the drone. It had me do that, and as you saw on my iPad, I have that version, and I tried to update the remote controller. I had an update, and that went successfully, too. So... Before the updates, it came up with version mismatch, update all modules, and after the updates, it came up with. Only problem is I cannot connect to Assistant 2. It does not me, recognize the drone. Did, did you? Okay, you had. The, the batteries have a big deal with all this too, Jim. Have you, have you swapped all your batteries around, tried different batteries? Yeah. Still no. Still so. You know why? I had to because I played with it so long that the battery was under 50%. Now, it specifically says in the manual, if your battery is 50% or under, it won't do any updates. So then I had to go switch to another battery, put that one on the charger. Hey, you so, and Mitch need to do a little live tomorrow while you're hooking it up so we can all see what uh, 
see if you guys get it fixed or not. I always want to blame it on Windows, and they're saying right here on DJI site that update 0.02.07 was to fix an issue where the assistant software cannot be installed and used on some Windows 10 systems. So I went and changed my parameters in my computer for, no for nothing to allow unsigned drivers, and the damn thing still isn't working. Yeah, um, I, I use different batteries, Lauren. I use different batteries because he's asking me to check the pins. Like I said, it wouldn't hurt to check the charging or the actual port too that you plug the cable in. I mean, like Chris said, process of elimination. Look at every stupid little thing you can. A bad battery is going to affect the camera. A yeah, bad battery. It'll affect the firmware updates, Carlos. Ah, okay. Bummer. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the thing. It's all proprietary, and we're all hooked like fish on the end of a big fishing pole. You're not buying these things. You're renting them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of it, man. And I really do. I love this drone. It takes the best, best pictures. Like I said, the X5S is the perfect camera. But other than that, the Mavic 2 Pro, as far as quality, can't touch it. Well, Mitch is a pretty smart guy, so if he can't help you figure it out, then you're probably just going to be forced to take That's it. That's an to old drone, too, right? That's company. almost three years old now. 2018, yeah. October of 2018 or something. I mean, you'd still buy them brand new, too. They're still selling new ones. Mikey! Still Mike Roche. Hey, guys. I like his hat. How's it going? Good, Mike. All right. That's the, old, uh, that's the Cuban military hat. That's they right. The uh, Che Guevara. Scout hat. So what's this, a bitching session tonight? Boy. Wow. Oh, it's a preach. You preach too. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mike, yeah. did Perfect. you know about that? that? That shorts permission, Mike? Um, I haven't looked at the uh, YouTube keeps changing the rules so much, and now they're putting commercials on my, you know, chumpy yep. little channel. It's just, you know, they they can do what they want until the government moves in and and does something to break them up or whatever. Hopefully, if you know, they there's been so much talk about that for years, uh, a lot of blabbermouthing, but nothing happening. So no we'll different see. than the banks robbing you on Wall Street. They don't ever well, do anything about right. it. So. You know, you've got, because uh, they're under which entities? you got the uh, Alphabet. Google is separate from YouTube, which is separate from Alphabet, which is separate from, and actually Alpha. Alphabet the, the, is the one that's on the uh, IPP. I think Alpha. they're the uh, parent company. Yeah, I think Alphabet's the overarching Company, is it thick? You know. All right, so what we were talking about, them. Mike, is this here? They, oh look, this allow embedding. I always turn off, but this one now is brand new, called Shorts Permission. And they are coming out with a bulk button, so you don't have to go through every video. Now, what does shorts position even mean? It allows people to create shorts using parts of this video, turning this video off permanently, delete all shorts sampling its content. So you got to uncheck it and then hit save. Hmm. It's just an easier way to steal your videos yeah. without having to like screen record them or something. Now, yeah. uh, that lawyer, Ian, Ian Corazan, did his video and vidIQ now has a video on it um, let's see if we can go back yeah see that's uh in Corazan God I hate these YouTube is just trying to move everything toward you know it's like you said more uh, surveys and crap nowadays they're eventually gonna move it where we're forced to either watch Tons of commercials or pay some kind of fee. And they're the only game in town besides like Rumble. And that doesn't have the reach as YouTube. So, you I've, know. I've, have you put any up on Rumble? I've put two up on Rumble so far. A little bit. I did an account there, but, you know, it's, it's 
you got to go where the people are. Right. You know. Well, it's That's, either YouTube or TikTok. That's the two major players at the moment. Right. My Here's Rumble. But, Let me um, sign into Rumble. But see, that's where YouTube's getting the shorts idea from. They're pretty much modeling after YouTube. But see, TikTok is also now allowing three-minute videos. So they're like, they're modeling after each other. They're like taking each other's um, things that they're doing that they are not doing themselves. So now TikTok is allowing longer videos, and now YouTube is getting into the shorter videos. That's exactly why... YouTube is doing the shorts because of TikTok. Yeah, it's their only main competitor at the moment. The TikTok is a very large competitor of them right now. I'm so, surprised uh, Google doesn't just buy TikTok; like they buy everything else that comes up. Or fa you this, know, Facebook does the same thing. Yeah. Well, they only have them because it's a Chinese it's company, Chinese. and yeah, Chinese. And they're right. not going to sell it to an American company. I wonder what Rumble. I didn't look, Mike. What their quality is. I don't know. Yeah. I I know it's not as uh, intuitive to use the app to like upload videos. I, I don't quite have it figured out. I got one up there, but it's not as uh, I don't know. Let me see, Mike intuitive. Grosh. Are you in under Mike Grosh? Oh, geez, I don't even I don't even know. I haven't looked at it in a while. He's under hot and sexy drone pilot. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. I've never even heard of Rumble. Surprisingly. No, as many social medias as I'm on, I've never even heard of this one. It it, it comes with the I I follow a lot of conservative political stuff, and and Rumble tends to like not boot people off for saying what they want to say. Yeah, oh, it's kind of like um, what's the other one that got booted off the App Store? Oh, um, Parler. Parler. So it's kind of like Parler then. Yeah. The little drone that... reviewers got a bunch up on there. But you don't get the views that you do anywhere else, Mike. With Rumble, right. yeah, it's like it's like Twitter. You know, I I I hate Google as a company. I hate Twitter as a company. But it, you know, compared Parler compared to Twitter is like a drop in the bucket. You know, and, uh, and then they canceled them out of the App Store. That that still screwed them. Good evening, you know, to they, Joe they Baylock, just, Jim. Sorry, Mike. Sorry. The best feedback I've gotten out of all the social media apps so far, like as far as views and all that goes, has definitely been uh, TikTok so far. I can drop a video and have 100 views within a couple hours. Jeez. Where on YouTube, I can drop one and I might get 30 or 40 views within the first few days. You know, you were saying that, Mike, but I'm mean, um, Justin, but don't you have to tie that back to your YouTube channel because you're not making any views that count, right? What do you mean? If you get 10,000 views on TikTok, what's that do for you? Maybe it gives you more followers. And then if you go into the career, if you get into the creator fund, once you hit 10,000 followers, you get paid by views, not ads. So the more views your videos get, the more you get paid. But you have to hit 10,000 followers. But it's not hard to get followers on TikTok. I get three or four every hour. Um, oh, they pay a Bitcoin? No, nah, I'm not sure because I haven't even gotten that far yet. I'm only, at, but I've only been on there three weeks and I have 1,300 followers so far. Yeah, well, that's or, cool. How many of them are above the age of 18? That's the one. Well, I mean, most of the ones <laughs> that I've communicated with and stuff, they all have videos of themselves on their pages, and a lot of them are adults. I have well, I, a few kids' profiles here and there. The whole thing is to get them to watch, to somehow cross-platform it, get them to go to your YouTube channel and watch. Well, I, my YouTube is connected to that. Like when you go to my profile page on TikTok, there's a little YouTube emblem. And if you click on it, it takes you right to my YouTube page. Okay. The, the thing is most people, there's three different types of people out there. There's people that do both platforms, and then there's people that only do one or the other. And they don't cross between the two. Because I got a lot of people on TikTok that don't use YouTube at all. So YouTube and Facebook were closely related or connected. Well, see, Facebook, it doesn't really grow your channel because everybody's profiles these days are set to private. So you're pretty much just showing your videos, your family and friends. And, and my problem I, with you, Facebook is it only comes out in 720p if you're lucky. Yes. Right, yes. Awful on Facebook. 
They compress yeah. it so bad, it looks horrible. So I that's why I'm into droning. That was the only reason I use YouTube is to show my friends and family, and they all got sick of me. Anyway, Tammy Lackey is in the house, undressed, so to speak, <laughs> figure of speech. Hey, Tammy. Hey, Tammy. It's funny. I don't have one family member signed up for my uh, YouTube channel. It's like, can you guys give me a, throw me a bone with some fake accounts and subscribe? I know. I've told yeah. people, I've told people, like, what well, this one particular friend, he's funny. I go, I'm going to send you a video. He goes, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> My first 50 or 100 subscribers were just friends and family. I was yeah. just posting on Facebook, hey, can you subscribe? You know, contacting friends through Messenger, hey, can you subscribe? My first 50, maybe 150 subscribers were just friends and family, just trying to help me get my channel off the ground. My own grandchild doesn't watch my videos. I don't like that many people. That's, is that Tammy? Is that your Tammy, Mel? That's Tammy. Okay. Hey, hey Tam, how you feeling? Go ahead. Oh, Mike Grosh, did you hear Matt uh, North lo lost his dad? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that sucks. I, I knew something was up medically. I didn't, you know, I, um, I, I, I didn't, I'm glad it wasn't Matt, obviously. Yeah. Himself. But yeah, I heard you guys say that earlier and uh, you, you made it to about 85. Yeah, I did make it yeah. to 85. Yeah. So it doesn't matter the age you lose. If you're, if you're tight with your dad and you lose your dad, um, you know, like my dad died at 86 and, uh, it was in 2004, and I, I miss him now more than ever. You know, it's I, like, you know, I really like miss you guys him. Hearing, I don't like my, hearing about that because my mom's going to turn 87. And you guys I lost my funny. dad when he was 60, and that was in 1986. Yeah. But when I really, my mom died in 2000, and I hate to say it, but I felt such a loss. Like, I've got no more reach on the planet. You know what I mean? You felt like right. an orphan. You do. You feel alone. And the, let me tell you, when my mom died in 2007, she made it to 86 as well. She was three years younger than my dad. And um, she died pretty quickly, you know, so thankful for that. Over chump change in her will, my family had freaking World War Three. You know, That's always and, the uh, case. It's crazy. Yeah. And uh, it's like, you know, it wasn't, thank, I wasn't directly involved, but I was like, Man, you guys got to be kidding me! And unfortunately, you know, once that once you cross the Rubicon, man, it's hard to go back. Yeah, you scared yeah. me a little bit earlier, Jim, when you said Matt, and before you said it was his dad. I thought something happened to Matt. I was like, yeah. oh my god! No, Brian, we were just talking about this YouTube Shorts thing, and I know your wife doesn't care about it, but damn it, I know you do. <laughs> It's good if you're somebody that wants to get views. If you're just putting your videos out there and you don't care who sees them, <laughs> well, and you're not really worried about that, then don't worry about it. But if you're somebody like me that likes to get the views and I'm trying to grow, that's definitely a good way to go. I like to get the views, not so much to grow. I mean, it just feel you, you hope to put it up there because you want somebody to watch it. Otherwise, why put it up there? You know, somebody's um, actually time to watch. But what? Well. I noticed that not many people watch the whole video. I try I, when I watch a video nine out of ten times. I'll watch from beginning to end. Oh, watch yeah. time is hell, hell. Oh, I don't care about it. I'm saying when I watch somebody else's, I'll watch the whole video. But that's the great thing about shorts, though. People are willing to stick around for a minute, and well, if you can just, put yeah. a yeah, and if you can put a catchy span is that long. That's what it really means. But if you put a catchy tune on it too. Like, see, on TikTok, I'll break my four-minute video up between four videos, and I'll put part one, part two, you know. But I'll put a catchy song through the whole thing. And, yeah, music can make a break, like a wedding. And people will bad. jump to the second part just because they want to hear that rest of that song, and they're, you know, they don't might not really care about your flight footage, but they're jamming out to the song. I hear you, Brian. Sorry, but this but is the thing. Hello, this is the thing about Brian's Facebook. <laughs> the thing about Facebook is. They'll sit there and watch. I'll have videos with 10,000 views. Not one of them are subscribed. This video here got 80% of the people who watched it are not subscribers. You see what I'm saying? So it does nothing yeah. for All your channel. All it does is get your view time up. That's it. Right. 
Right. Well, that's like I said, I have a video that has over 2,000 views and one that's over 1,000. And I've, I've probably gained some subscribers from it, but like the one that has over 2,000 views literally only has three comments and like 15 or 20 likes, and that's it. So uh, maybe, sometimes the title. Different platform. Sometimes like, the title will uh, get them. Look, Sorry, at the, look at the watch time, Mike. One minute, 51 seconds, and that's high. Right. I mean, uh, most of these people won't watch out of a three-minute video. You're lucky if you get a minute out of them. Yeah. I try to keep it two and a half to three minutes because, like you said, the attention span is is worse than it was a year ago with people. I mean, uh, with, especially, you know, TikTok and all this, 30-second videos. I think it's kind of how it started. You know, people playing with their cat or something, it's like, and it's, it's grown into a huge thing. But, man, the attention span and patience level uh is like you know it's like it's like physically changed our brains is all like this mike kenny's statement i'll let you post it I'll be right hey, that's, that's why i went to TikTok as an experiment because i wanted to see if my videos would do better on there and i was correct on that yeah like i said i can drop a video on TikTok and it will get 100 views within the first like sometimes a few hours where I never get that on. I might get that on one video, but it might take a week to get that many views. You know what I'm saying? Right. Well, there so. were people like Claude who were dying, dying to get over a thousand subscribers so right. they could, uh, they thought the world was going to change. Not a damn thing changes. Let me tell you this right now. Not a damn thing changes. Because I still stream with RTMP if, when I, if I do a live stream from my drone. I'm still using RTMP. It's just what I have set up. It's a press button, and it's quicker and easier. But you, YouTube made it so that you had to have a thousand subscribers in order to go live. After that, and that, yeah, that, that's the way it is now, and that's a joke. And I think that the watch time is you have to get that thousand hours within a year's time, correct? Like if you don't get that thousand hours within a one year span or four thousand hours, four thousand, yeah, within and a one year span, it doesn't count. It almost like it resets. So yep. you have to get that within the one year in order to get that monetization. And yep. I'm only averaging. I think I'm only up to like six or seven hundred hours of view time over the past year, and that's it. Can I ask you guys another technical question? Uh, my router just uh, is, is is dying. And um, so I looked at them up today. I got a guy to install it for me. I got I went I went to Spectrum. They only had a five gigahertz router, not a not a dual mode. It's so not you, a smart, you want a dual? You want a dual? Hold on, hold on. Hold, it's not the yeah. smart one. I I don't know. The guy the guy from Spectrum came over. You know, he was uh, not very very informed. But you, so you haven't a, seen it. It's not a rectangular. Uh... It's, no, it's like a tower. Yeah, the, but it's only, I don't know, right, 8 or 10 inches. Footprint. Yeah. That um, actually switches by itself. What, um, what, you're, what you're seeing now is when you go online and you look for your Wi-Fi, you only see one name, right? Uh, no, I see two. I got yeah, Mike, so I, 2G I gave, and, and 5G, 2.4 yeah. and 5. I gave yeah. Spectrum back their router, and I bought this one. Three four years ago for two hundred and fifty dollars, uh, and it still works great because uh, Spectrum wanted me to pay uh, five dollars a month to they rent the charge. damn. They don't router. charge anymore. Well, they're still not the best routers. No, this, I, I'm I'm with you, but so, I, I was just going through that same. I called Spectrum today because when I go on my Wi-Fi and you go to look for it. It only has one name. Before in the past, it used to say two names, 2G, 5G. Right. So I call them up and I go, what's going on? She goes, well, the guy goes, uh, it's a smart a smart it's router, so it'll pick, it'll pick for you, which which yeah. is the best, for, you know, depending on where you are with the device. Well, I just ordered one a little while ago from uh, Best Buy. It's a Linksys AC2200. There you a, go. Um, Tri band and it's uh you know uh I don't know it's I I think it's good it's better than the one I got little you know a little more powerful and and um 
Uh, I've heard the best thing to do is have separate modem and router. That's what I, I have a separate modem yeah. and router. Yeah. And that uh, allows me to get four extra. And then I bought a, this little Linksys thing I got here, which is just a plug in connector box. So I can have the TV and the computer also plugged in back to the this route, uh, this router you see on the screen. Right. And, and when you boot them up, you're supposed to boot the modem up first, let it boot up completely, then the router. You don't do both at once, supposedly. I don't hey, Jim, know. can you look up the Linksys AC2200? I'm just yep. curious about you guys' opinion. Not to mention, some devices can only still run 2.4. That's That was like, my... So it's good to have both bands. Yeah. If you got the Spectrum, though, I think you should be good, Mike. Because that's well, the same I, as I, I got. I told the guy to take it back though, because he, he's like your some of your cameras and stuff might not run on it, and like, what the hell, you know? Because a lot of security cameras actually use two point four gigahertz. Right, mine do. So, yeah, that, so you know, I, I don't want to get into changing everything, you know. But so. it's only using the five G, not the two point four. Um, my security cameras, I got the Nest ones. Yeah. They're two point four. Uh, uh, no, they're five G. Um, they'll five gigahertz. They'll work on five, according to their specs, I believe. But my switches, I have all these smart switches yeah. that are only two point four, and it's like I, I don't want to replace them right now. It costs me way more to replace them than to, uh, you know, um, uh, um, get a, just get a new router that's dual band. Mike, well, this this says it uses two point four. Right, it's, and and five gigahertz. And five, yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's a multiple unit. Mimo is multiple in, multiple out. Multi user, multiple in, multiple out. So that should yeah. allow everything you've got to work. Well, yeah, correct me so. if I'm, I was going to say, correct me if I'm wrong. The 2.4 gives you a wider band range, yes, but, it a, does. but a slower speed, where the 5G gives you a lower range, but yeah. stronger speed, correct? Faster right. Speed. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it's faster. I heard one is for distance. One is when you're up close. One that would be the two point four would be for distance. I don't know. Yeah, that would be the two point four. Well, mine must have been dying because when I was doing like a speed test um, or you know whatever, I would uh, uh, I'm supposed to be getting up to two hundred megabits uh, down speed and uh, wow, wow, and um. They, 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 you know, they threw us a bone and made it from 100 to 200. And, um, but it was only like 60 something and it was bouncing all over the place. And, uh, it, it was that wasn't connected the, with uh, Ethernet or Wi Fi? Um, that was Wi Fi. I, wi -Fi, I tried it on you Ethernet. Never get, you'll never get 200 Wi Fi. No, they're giving you the ratings for the Ethernet. Yeah, that's all talking. Ethernet. Right. I mean, you'll get but close, it, but, not but actually on my, um, Wi Fi router now. If I switch over to the five gigahertz, wow, they, Mike, they did go up to two hundred. Look at this. Yeah. I'm only supposed to be getting a hundred. Yeah, they bumped it up. You know, but they still only go to ten. Depth. Upload is only ten. 10 up, yeah, right? right. So I bumped it up to four hundred, and they didn't even charge me extra, and now I get twenty up, which oh, you cool. know is great. You know, uh, the girl didn't charge me. I'm like, okay, you know. So. Yeah. There's a difference between using the Google speed test because you see the servers in Miami. It goes back to when you use Google, it uses M labs and it goes back to the originator. If you use um, speedtest.net, it's going to the closest local internet point. Right. That's why I always use Google uh, speed test. Yeah. I didn't know they, they bumped it up. Wow, that's cool. Well, there's so many people working from home now and stuff. You know, they, it's not costing them anything. Yeah. Yeah, but the upload, well, upload speed is what's important for streaming, right. gaming, anything. And it's and I, down low. I always think 10 up is, you going, hey, Chris? Jim, I think you know, Chris, Chris is saying good night for the right, five Chris. minutes. Thank you for coming on, buddy. I really You're appreciate not in a hotel room, are you? I'm in a hotel. I think we'll take a shower and go be it. Okay. <laughs> If anybody's interested in what the shorts look like, you can go to my channel. My last four videos were shorts. Well, pull one up. Can you pull one up, Justin? Or do do you want me to do it? You can pull it up. I'm, the last four I put up are all shorts, and they look just the same except for 
on at least on my page when I look at them, it shows a little shorts like badge on the video. I don't know if it shows it on your end. Now you should do that in order to. Um... And I actually found a really cool DJ on um, TikTok who remixes a lot of modern songs, and because he remixes them, they're technically his songs so he lets everybody right. use them so i was able to add a lot of cool non-licensed stuff on there so i've been adding a lot of really cool remix songs on the videos hey, Mel. Well, google added 250 uh music systems to their oh fine. okay here we are Mike. justin Let's see. Let's see one of your shorts. Now you got to put that. I thought you had to put the tag on it. It's supposed to add a little tag on it. Go to the uh, the fourth one, and yeah, that one. But it, okay. it just literally looks like a regular video, and it's um, part of the criteria was supposed to be a square, evenly. Uh, well, that's the thing is it show on my end, it shows a little light S badge on the corner of the video, but it's not showing it on here. So I don't no, know. I don't see it. But see, when I look at it on my end, it shows it. It looks like this little like cool little S design. Now, why are they allowing or but do you they not care two. that it says TikTok? Because what I do is I upload them to TikTok and then I pull it down. I save it from TikTok and upload it to YouTube. That way it has my TikTok badge on the video. They don't care about that. YouTube doesn't care? No. Okay. Okay. It's a way to advertise my TikTok channel because TikTok automatically, when you upload a video, it automatically saves that video to your phone. So you can re-upload it anywhere you want. See, these don't have the hashtag shorts on them, though. No, it's just all that you do is hit that upload shorts, and then it, you go through the same process as if you were uploading a regular video. Yeah, but one, what I'm saying is I thought YouTube was actually pushing the shorts videos. Well, you got to remember, too, it's still in beta, too, so they're still working on all the – because the beta program was actually out a week and a half ago because I uploaded some shorts through it. But th what you saw today, you said happened two days ago, that's two days adding in. stuff to it. And they'll be adding stuff as they go along. I mean, it, 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 I, like I said, well, some of the videos will show that S, and then I had one that didn't show it. So I'm not sure, like I said, because it's beta, maybe that's the reason. They just haven't worked out the bugs on it yet. But yeah, that's because, the thing is they don't make it to where you have to make it a short yourself. That's why they added that button. So the right. So YouTube knows that, hey, you're making a short, not a regular video, and you can do okay. it for air. Do, uh, differentiate between the two so it seems to look like it's i don't know from the watch page you can do it too i was like to create a short from the watch page sign into youtube on your mobile so how the hell do you do it if you're you can only do it you used mobile? to have to hashtag mike kenny but you're not supposed to have to do that now oh okay what is it i just watched a short tutorial you don't have to hashtag it okay that answers my question yeah, before apparently you had to before they added that button. In the lower right corner, tap the plus button to see other shorts that used the same audio. Because I know they signed up 250 music. Uh, and then you can just, uh, like, it's just an endless scroll of videos. And they make it real easy. That's why I said you'll get a lot of likes on it because people will watch it and they'll like it, go to the next video. Like it, watch it, go to the next video. And they go through 20 videos in the matter of, you know, 10, 15 minutes, depending on how long the videos are, because they can be as short as five seconds or up to a minute. Uh, no, they just have to be within that minute range. Okay. But like I had one that had like 20, got 20 something likes on it the first day, the first day or two it was out. I think it was either 19 or 20 likes. This is, gonna, this is going to piss you off, Jim. No, nah, that doesn't bother me at all. As long as uh, my stuff works, that's all I care. You remember <laughs> when I was using the wireless, Mel? Oh, yeah. I wasn't getting anywhere. How about when I was using it at my house? Yeah. 
you know, with a, with a with a three download and a point five upload. Yeah, but that MoFi video of yours hit that, like a hundred thousand subs- uh, views, didn't it? Well, it hit. Yeah, it hit quite a few. Yeah, I know. I want to try it. Elon's Starlink internet. I heard whose that feet, was whose feet test was that just now? Mel's. That was mine. Let me see it on Google Speed Test. Okay. Does anybody have Starlink through Elon? That's actually uh, uh, that upload in- speed is off because it's supposed to be three hundred minimum. Jody Drone Shots has it, I think. Yeah, because I heard that was amazing internet, and it's super simple. Like the satellite just finds its own signal; you don't even have to mess with it. Yeah, the the antenna tracks the satellite. Yeah. Hey, yeah, Jim, you don't have to. Go Jim, did my shirt look a little fruity to you? You guys think I look fruity? No, I don't know. Well, you know, we and take it. It's you, so you know, we kind of let it slide. Gotcha. All right. Sorry, Ed. What That's is what the? Sh- what is the? Um, I have no drink. Clue. You think I read these things? Oh, guitars, vintage guitars. Okay. So yeah, holy sh! Is it doing up? That's your up speed. That's the down. The up is. See, this is fiber optic, so it's supposed to be symmetrical. So I don't know why the upload speed is so low. It's hey, even probably usually. got a boatload of people. Well, I got 10, Mel. No, I got nobody using it but me. He should get like 50 50, 100 100, pretty much equal. Yeah, it should be like it always used to run like uh, about 370 and like, like 380 down and 370 up. But like right now, it's running like 360 up. And I mean, down and like under 200 up and that's, that's bullshit because we're paying for 300 there. See, that's what it's supposed to be it's like that. Yeah. I wonder why it came out a little different a minute ago. Was that through Verizon? Different server. Yeah, but this is fiber optic and it that shouldn't, that has no, we can run up to it's, it's 20 devices, I don't know. but how many yes. devices? We can run up to like 20 devices on this internet. That's an Ethernet test, though, right? That's not Wi Fi. No, it's Ethernet. I don't yeah. run Wi Fi. Well, I do. I run the TV with the Fire Stick and my laptop. I've got a second router set up. In fact, I've got my Mopi router set up in the back of the house because this house is built with um, plaster and lap. So it's like being in an RF filter room in every room of the house with all the lap, all the chicken wire, right? Same so, here, same here. Right. Um, but this is Lorenz. Is that your stand? Is that the standard program, Loren? Because uh, I'm paying seventy five dollars a month for the standard Spectrum program, which is now part of what Charter Cable or. Whoever they own, I don't know. It used to be Time Warner, then Bright House, then Roadrunner, then now it's Spectrum, who's owned by Comcast. Who the hell on Charter or Comcast? On Spectrum, uh, Charter, I um, believe. Spectrum Charter. bought out um, Bright House in Florida. Charter wasn't it Bright House? Yes, yes, Bright yeah. House. Yeah, I have no idea. Charter, Charter. Who's got uh, some cool videos they want us to play? There we, I'll be flying my hey, did you see that video of my the alligator that I had? I don't know. Yeah, the one with the I saw. Was that you? That wasn't your video, was it? The one with the a bunch of alligators on the riverbank with a rooster. Oh uh, no! <laughs> yeah, the, I saw this on Facebook or something. I was scrolling around this morning, and here's this rooster, and he's like teasing all these alligators. Yeah. It was hilarious. And then I saw another one where a dog and a rooster were playing tag. They were chasing each other around a stack of pallets. That was pretty comical. I put the Jurassic Park theme music over it, too. <laughs> but, yeah, I got right over it. I was about 10 feet over top of them. Oh, and then you'll, sweet. See, you'll see him pop up out of the water, but you can see the outline of where he's yeah. at. He, he was yeah. probably about an eight, eight or, I would say, maybe 8 to 10 feet. I'm guessing. I'm not real sure. But he was pretty big up close when I was standing on the pier looking at him. He's a good size. He's, but you yeah. can see his tail because you can see the outline in the leaves. Right. Yeah. 
like in the moss or whatever you want to call it. Was that a pond? Was, uh, no, that was uh, Lake Howard, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You said it in the intro. I just put up one up yesterday, too, that has little wildlife at the end, but uh, it was, uh, I know Carlos saw it. Um, yeah, well, now hang on, Michael. You know, your style of wildlife I heard in, requires nudity. So I don't, you know, is this a family show here? <laughs> it was the family deer friendly. Naked. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, anyways, just, uh, you know, kind of a cool thing. A, a big, uh, old reservoir it used to be an open air reservoir here in town, and it was so in such bad shape they, uh, two gigantic tanks in it oh is that what that, those were for yeah i remember when they were constructing them you were doing it now is this the one you want to play the first one yeah the the one you've seen before was a a million gallon million and a half gallon near my house the those are both um dual 32 million Holy uh, gallon water tanks in, inside the old open air reservoir so now, let cool. me ask you, what are they doing? Oh, look at that. I love that. It's yeah, got the Trump the sign, thing. the Trump sign on it. Yeah, it's Trump on it. Beautiful. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah. I love those people. New York isn't all lost. Capture, I just uh, subscribed to your boy for you. I'll check out his channel when I get off here. And they left some of the old pump houses there, too, which is kind of cool. Now, New York City's water comes from the upstate reservoirs. So where are they com compared to you? Do you They're know? South of me. Up upstate for New York City is like way downstate for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They think Ups upstate to the state means something totally different than upstate in the city means. Right. Upstate means Westchester County. You know, Carlos probably knows how, how that stuff goes. But, All right, Jim, I got to get off here because I got to get up early in the morning. Carlos, your mic's muted. All right, Justin. That thanks looks like for a silly roof. Brother. Not a problem. Westchester is still, you know, it's just above Bronx. Take care, Justin. So it's still, uh, I wouldn't consider that upstate. More like yeah. New Poles. I'm wondering On why the I have. side of the Tap Z Bridge, a.k.a. Mario Knucklehead <laughs> Bridge. Yeah. Well, what's, what's right by the Tap and Z? A reservoir? No, no, no. On the other side, then you start talking about maybe going upstate. You know, oh, Nyack, well, yeah, Scarlet. yeah, yeah. Right. To me, upstate was anything over the GW. North of the GW. <laughs> if you crossed the George Washington Bridge, you were in another country. People in Long Island call the city the five boroughs, where I would call the city Manhattan. Right. Manhattan. It's stupid. If you, everybody, this kills me, Carlos. Everybody. Because of TV, they associate New York City with just the island of Manhattan. It's only 26 miles square, but that's New York City to everybody on TV. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And again, that's the media, right? Prostitutes and violence. Now, see, see to me, 42nd Street is, used to be a good time. Upstate is Plattsburgh to me. You know, that's. <laughs> and then they cleaned up. I'll tell you something as a kid, Mel, speaking of Plattsburgh and areas like that. Now, my, my brother-in-law and all that work for, and my uh, sister, she's the head of uh, grant research departments at the State University of Stony Brook. So they always go up to Albany, mm -hmm. which to me was way to hell upstate, you know. But um, my, when I was a kid, our parents, because we had six kids, would load us up into the car and we would go for drives upstate. That was like our recreation, you know. Uh -huh. Seeing the country, as it were, if if like I could going put up to Lake like, George and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lake George is a schlep. That's like by Saratoga. That's like four. <laughs> isn't that right near Canada? Basically, Lake George. Yeah, but I've been to North Tonawanda, which is right on the line of the, uh, the uh -huh. falls. Saratoga Springs. That was a nice area. And what a great time, man. Yonkers to Peekskill is not upstate. I had friends who lived in Peekskill. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Woodstock, New Paul's. New Paul's got the university. Yeah. Um, we used to go camping up there. KMA uh, campsites. 
You guys have seen the the self checkout stands at Walmart. Yeah, all we have is self checkout now. They fired those all are, the they closed are, all the regular ones. Those are all coming now from NCR, but they used to come out of a company called ABB Robotics in Plattsburgh. I used to haul those and deliver them to Walmart's and wow. Targets and whatever. NCR National Cash Register, right? Yep. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, That's they make old. the machine. They get the, the <laughs> they get the ATM, the the vault, all of it. Because there's a vault in that thing too, that holds all the money. That's a uh, that's a good idea, Bob. Hey guys, don't forget to uh, connect with each other. Hey Sean, right. you snuck in. Sean's another one who's always working. He's uh, who's my Sean? computer guru. You know Edge FPV. You know Sean. Oh, Edge, Edge. I missed him. Sorry. Yeah, Edge. that's what I said. He snuck in. Ah. Uh, and uh, he he went he went and got the uh, I guess he couldn't wait for the GTX RTX thirty eighty or thirty ninety he got the uh, the sixty eight hundred from who's the other company Mel not not Nvidia the other guys oh same one I have um uh. Hang on. <laughs> right? Can't. Why why can't we remember? What do you put me on the spot like this for, Jim? That's just if wrong, man. If you're not uh, NVIDIA, you're the other right company. click. Yeah. Uh, device. AMD. Manager. AMD. A yeah. Well Sean put it up there. He got the no. sixty eight hundred XT AMD. Yeah. Ryzen. Well, depends on what company. you're talking about. Are you talking about video cards or Yeah, GPUs. Okay. Um, Radeon. I want an RTX. You got, you get, you got Nvidia and you got Radeon. If you're talking about G, uh, CPUs, then you've got Asus and IBM, basically. Intel or AMD. Yeah, yeah, right. Those are the processing or the chips, right? You guys. Yeah, the chipsets. Yeah. But for 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 editing now that I use, yeah, what is up with that? What that silicon shortage or whatever the hell it is? Oh, you know, it's it's the same thing. You know, I seen this thing on Facebook the other day. It said this guy had a sheet of uh, three quarter inch finished grade plywood in the back of his truck, a full sheet, four by eight sheet, right? Right. His, and and his ab said, I have one sheet. A three-quarter inch finished grade plywood will trade for a 2020 or 2020 F-150. Don't try to cut me down. I know what I got. You know, <laughs> it's Damn. it's they're they're blaming the pandemic on everything now. Lumber well, prices. It's because of the pandemic. Been, they've gone mm -hmm. up five times. Supposedly with the lumber. Supposedly, because they did not expect people to do anything. Or, or what ended up happening, because people were home, they ended up doing a lot more remodeling. So supposedly yeah. they didn't uh, harvest the trees. But I think they still have the, uh, this is just now my opinion, they probably still have the stock, but because everybody's playing five times the price. Well, sure. Yep. You know? Yeah, we're getting yeah. screwed over one way or another. I, I don't believe half this crap I see anymore on the news and you know, Mike, you watch news. The only reason I, I heard is because I watch in between the 10 minutes between traffic, you know, traffic right. and weather. Yeah. I can't stand news. I watch it a little bit. I mean, I don't, you hear the same crap over and over again anyway. And I only watch a couple of different sources because I just can't stand that uh, leftist crap from the yep. main, you know, left stream media, whatever you want to call it. Can so, they push an agenda or not? God. Oh, man. They're insane. No, and well, it, they they don't push it anymore. They just are it. Yeah. Right. Well, they're making all the media, so it. Uh, you know something? I I'll get on this in a second. The first thing I wanted to say is, you see the price of this card, right? The thirty sixty is only four hundred and ninety nine. The thirty eighty is seven hundred dollars. You know how much these are going for from the scalpers? Two grand. Stuff like this on eBay. <laughs> Really? Because they've been because them up. Yep. It. Yeah. Because of this so-called manufacturing shortage. Yeah. 
And I don't know what it is. That's why I asked you guys what's up with the silicon or whatever the hell it is. But DGI was able to send us thousands of two S's, no problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. D I didn't even think of that. Amazing how that works, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't even think of that. And speaking of DJI again, you want to know something weird? You know how when you um, you guys were talking about the uh, upgrade assistant a little while ago? Yeah. I just plugged in both of my controllers and my drone to make sure. Right. Okay? Because I have the regular controller that came with the Mavic Air 2 or Mavic Pro 2. Right? I just have a question. As uh -huh. soon as you plug in, and you're logged in to GJI Assistant 2. Did uh -huh. you get that little blue square that you click on? Yeah, and it defines okay. what, what device you have plugged into it. As long it as it's powered on. Mine don't as change. Long, as long as it's on. Yeah. Um, I could do it so, live for you here right now, and it won't change. Oh, I was going to say I could too. But, you know, the thing was I was considering downgrading the firmware on my smart controller. Because yeah. I don't need the Air and the right. all the other smart controller drones that are available now. All these updates are for those drones, yep. right? There used to be a version that I could live stream from the smart controller. But after I did the updates, that went away. Because you can't live stream from these other drones. Okay? So. Hey, Neil. When yeah, I ahead. when I plug in the regular controller that came with the drone, right? Right. I get the whole list of all the previous firmware versions. When I plug in the smart controller, I only get one, the current one. So I, I could downgrade this one to an older version if I wanted to, but I used to have the whole list on the smart controller. Now it's just the current version. Right. That's I mean, all the, I had. The, they're pushing for that fly app to everyone transfer over to the fly app and, uh, you know, whatever. Well, three, uh, whatever they're, they're going to push on us next. You know? Well, yeah, but you know what? I'm fixing to quit buying DJI. Yes. Yeah. You know, I am. I am. Um, with, with DJI getting I'm more and more your senses. controlling. Who, who has, yeah. More and more controlling about um, fly zones. Yep. You know, that's my issue. And the unlocking. That's well, always yeah. been the issue. They tell you where and when you can fly. Um, and and look at me, Mel. I did I, nothing wrong. All, all I did was turn off the drone. The next day I turn it on, it says version mismatch update all modules i spent five hours yesterday going through it well, what it. does update all modules mean well, what, what right what does it mean look at right, gi's right. forums they don't know either i never even heard anything called a module no right. me neither because um, i updated the firmware i updated the remote controller firmware i updated the g to go for app what other module is there <laughs> yeah yeah, see, I had the to update the Go4 app and the smart controller, and I had to update the smart controller. And this time, you know, when it's when you turn on the smart controller, I'd always get this message that said, update the safe fly whatever thing, right? Right. I always, I always click ignore. Right. Because I didn't want that update. Well, they put out this last update for the drone, this last firmware update for the drone. You couldn't activate that update unless you updated the fly safe zone and you had no choice. The drone wouldn't fly without doing the update. Right. So you had update. to do the you had to do the fly safe update, then you could do the firmware update. Now on the same line you're talking about, earlier I showed my iPad on. Uh huh. I was I, looking I, at it. Okay. I pressed the pancake and it only had the one. Point seven seven zero. Oh. I couldn't go to anything right. else if I wanted to. Now, see, on mine, on my regular controller, like you're using, right? Because you're not using a smart controller with nope. that, right? The regular little one. Yeah, see, I bought mine as a package, so it came with the smart controller. But um, this one, I had the whole list of all the recent. I mean, I'll plug it in again right now and show you. I got the whole list of 
all the firmware versions. Now, I don't know. It, I, I, but on the I smart didn't, controller, I, didn't, I the, didn't. I only had one. Should I try the remote controller? I tried the drone. The USB-C into the drone, into the USB on the computer. the computer. And then you on the then DJI you open, System 2. And then you turn on the drone. And then you open Assistant, right? Well, actually, it says to have a, the drone on, then mm. open Assistant. That's what I just said. <laughs> so you turn the drone on, and then you open Assistant. Okay, because for the it also came up with an Air 2 that says unplug it, and then within 20 seconds, plug it back in. Oh, see, I ne I've never had that happen. Okay. Whatever, whatever I'm doing, I, I, I plug it in, I turn it on, then yeah. I open the assistant and I let the assistant recognize it. And okay. then it pops it's up a, the little blue square, you know, that tells me whether yeah. it's the, the, the Mavic controller or the smart controller or the Mavic 2 Pro. You know, the suit, my, they, go ahead. they never put up the, no, the, the controller you just had in your hand. Uh -huh. Remember the original Mavic uh, Pro, they sold the controllers eventually. They never started selling that controller separately. What do you mean? The controller in your hand? You yeah. You can't buy that separately on the DJI store. I don't Is believe that right? it. Well, why would, why would you need to buy this? I don't know. There's some reason they did before. I don't know if they went bad on people or what. You well, if you didn't want the smart drone. controller. Yeah. Well, if you buy the drone, it comes with this. That's why I'm right. wondering, why would you have to buy this? Well, well I mean, some, now, some you know why? Wait, wait, wait. I'll tell you why. A lot of people will break in this friggin' tank. Yeah. That's oh, right. yeah. See, I've, I've used that thing like three times, and that's to do updates on this controller because I fly with a tablet, and I plug it in in the bottom. Well, so. I, you know, Rick Halber, I was bitching one day because my, oh. my power brick would charge the batteries, but the tang here would not charge the drone. So he sent me another... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Say that again? The DJI power brick. Yeah. It comes with two cords. One cord to charge the battery. The other cord plugs into here to charge the remote controller. Right. It stopped charging the remote controller and would only charge the battery. Oh. So a couple of days later, I get a new charger in the mail. Turns out it was Rick Halber. Plugged it in. And it started working great. But I was searching YouTube and seeing a lot of people. I can't. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it, there's, but there's a little black tang in there that yeah. people were breaking. Yeah, it's very fragile. You have to be very uh, careful. And, and, it's also and see, tough, it's also tough to know which way it's going in because this it doesn't look like a normal USB opening. It's a it's a micro USB, but this looks square. It doesn't look like it's right. shaped. Yeah. But, but uh, the secret on that is yeah. the micro USB, the narrow part of the connector, always right. goes up. Right. But I'm sure right. other people it, have broken it so many times. Trying oh, yeah. There's been a lot of people that have broke it. Yeah. So that alone would be a reason why you would want to buy another controller, right? Yeah. Well, if you ruin that, yeah, then you'd have to buy another controller. And I'll tell you something else, too, is if you bought the drone with this controller, as it comes normal now you can have dual operations so you would want a second controller so you could let someone else maybe operate the gimbal for you while you fly the drone right or you can let someone else fly the drone and you can teach them and if you have to you can take control back so because now are they are they selling these now mike these now controllers? they allowed now they allow um master slave on the controllers Right, I don't think they're selling the controllers separately yet. They, 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 when they came out with the Mavic Two, they came out with a smart controller around the same time. So I think they're, in my mind, their thought was, we'll give you the controller when you buy it, but if you want a second one, or whatever, then the smart controller is available for a lot more money. But you can get those on eBay or something. People crash their drone; they got a controller to give away. Yep, yeah, that yeah. happens. That happens. Mel, are you saying you can now do operate yes. with oh, these yeah. things? Uh-huh. You have been able to for almost a year. Right, it, one that, person does a, a switch camera, on the, one person flies. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Yeah. 
That's no, a switch on the, on the, on the app, right? Yeah, you go in the app okay. and you choose whether this controller is a master or a slave. Okay, I didn't know they allowed that on these. Yeah, you know we, oh, we yeah. had that on the Inspire, but I didn't know they allowed it on these. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they do. They absolutely do. Um, <laughs> refurbished. I'm gonna look here real quick. Are they making these things with USB C going forward, or? Yes. They it's are. so it's odd because the drone so is USB C. Yeah, yeah. You can the get a smart controller for six hundred. A refurb, that's 150 or 250 off regular price, whatever it is. Smart that's what I was... 700, over $700 for a smart Yeah, yeah it's yeah. 7, 750 that's I think. A lot of money. So I wonder what these are going for. Well, I'm looking. I don't see any of those on the refurb page. Um, Let's see. Products. Uh, it's a pretty tiny damn Mavic. Controller. Now, Carlos, what would you rather hump? This little tiny get set up or this 20 pounds of, of this? <laughs> and that's an antenna on the bottom? Yeah, this is a patch antenna, two, 5 wow. and 2.4. Jeez. Directional? Somewhat? No, no. no. You are the directional. You have to turn it. Oh, that's what I mean. So it's directional. You have to face wherever you're flying with the uh, pad. Yeah, yeah. This is a patch. It's not omnidirectional. These gotcha. are the yeah, regular yeah, ones that go on there are omnidirect mm -hmm. omnidirectional. Yeah, I don't see um, main products, power modules, batteries, battery charging hubs. That patch is an add-on, right, Jim? Props, more. $300, 280 Cases, bags. And what kind of distance will that add? Um, Let's say it went a mile. Let's say, for argument's sake, your drone went a mile. You think it'd go a mile and a half because of that? Well, wait a minute. Here's your problem. Now, how do I explain it? This, the, the Matrice is not AkiSync. It's LightBridge 2. Right. LightBridge Enhanced. So... When I take out this Mavic 2 and go two miles, I'm not breaking a sweat. If I send that Matrice out two miles, I'm breaking a sweat. No, you, you're more than breaking a sweat if you send it that far. Don't forget don't these see, things all say they can go seven miles. I don't no, see. Don't fly seven miles. That's you're on a piece conditions. of friggin' wire, yeah. All I see is the smart controller, Jim, on their website. I don't see the regular controller. So that goes to what Mike was saying. On they still DJ got your hostage. Website. Yeah. So now if that breaks, well, no, Mike, if you I buy the, spend eight hundred dollars. Or or find one somewhere else. Right. It's like uh let's look at just for giggles, Amazon real quick. Um, yeah, it is, Mike. Half of it is uh Made RC took it apart because it's only got four screws, as you can see. These are rubber tablets here. But half of this is 2.4, and the other half is 5.8. And it looks just like, you remember those uh, cell phone 10, 15 years ago, Mike? Those cell phone China things you used to glue onto the back of your cell phone. It was supposed to extend your range. It looks just like that, I swear to God. It looks like such a scam. <laughs> it does. You may as well buy the smart controller if you yeah. Amazon from Rotor Logic, they sell the remote controller for the Pro and Zoom for three hundred and seventy five dollars from Amazon. What what are they selling? The regular smart the regular controller for the Mavic two. You can get it on Amazon? Yeah. But not DJI. No. Can't get it from DJI, but to see that's sold by uh um Rotor Logic, whoever they are. Never heard yeah. of them. They're probably all from people who cra crashed a drone and still got the controllers. You know, so Hey Stevie, I added your links onto the uh video too because uh 
And you know, your video says Capture Life Connection on it anyway, but I still added card links to your videos because, man, he was the only one oh. to think of capturing the people who were actually signing the poster, Carlos. None of us thought of that. I hey, guys. I, I said 375 on Amazon, right? Right. There's one on here. Buy it now on eBay for 239 there's one that's on auction right now. The auction stops in about 12 minutes, and the current bids is 156. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to buy a second controller, this is RCB1 or RC1B or whatever it is. So it's, this, it's for the Mavic 2. Mine's a RC1A, so I don't know what that means, but... Mm -hmm. um, let me ask you something. Mike Kenny saying no live streaming on the Fly app. Can you right. still do that RTMP thing that we've been doing for years? They don't. The option isn't even there on the Fly app. So no. no, no, no. That's why you can't live stream from the smart controller anymore, because the new drones that they've been releasing use the Fly app. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I remember and, you you had gotten that working at one point. Oh, right? yeah, then, absolutely. Had it flying, strolling, smoking. And then what happened? They updated it because of the Mini. Okay. And that or the, took or the Air 2. The Air 2, I think. But they updated it with the so that it could use the Fly app. And when they did that, it foobarred the Go4 app. Night, Bob. Thank you, brother. Good night, Bob. Have a good evening, buddy. Yeah, I got to take off too, guys. Yeah, we've been on too long. I was just going to say the same thing because yeah, my yeah. back's starting to talk. But yeah. you can, you can get the the regular controller, um, on Amazon and on eBay. Well, yeah. you know what? I've seen a lot of guys doing mail. Oh, here's one for the Air Two S for seventy nine dollars. Buy it now. It's Genuine part RC two thirty one DJI Mavic. Air 2S remote controller replacement unit with cables, brand new, seventy nine ninety five. Something, something. Uh, you know, Infinity Drones eBay store. Whoever they are. That, that don't sound right. That sounds like uh, sounds Mike stupid. buying the fifty dollar ATV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and all them guys buying those ten dollar Inspire twos, right? Remember that? <laughs> right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That. That ad screw up. Yeah, and that was all a hoax too. Turns out. Oh, it all was. Right. It was a hoax. Yeah. That'll miss Mark James. I'm going to say good night. Good night, no. Carlos. Yeah, good night, Carlos. Mike, take Thanks. care. Oh, here's Keep here's another Air Two uh, controller for eighty five. Talk to you soon. Appreciate all you right. coming. I'm out of here too, guys. Yeah, I'm going to end it. Jim, Mel, I'll catch you later. Have a good night, guys. Yep, Jim, everyone in the chat, Neil, everybody, everybody in chat. Yep, I agree. Thank you, Mike. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you. Hey, Mel, the only thing I wanted to say to you was I saw guys now are making a hell of a lot of money parting out their uh inspires and things like that, actually taking the damn thing apart and selling the parts. Oh, that doesn't surprise me, making it's a fortune. It's it's so far EOL, you know, that the parts are gonna be starting to get hard to get. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I'm still gonna keep that damn thing because that's gonna come into use when uh Well, if the batteries will know. still work. Yeah, well we're we're battling that, but I didn't know but Texas Instruments is the one that makes the smart controller for the batteries. Uh huh. All these years, couldn't find out who made it. And somebody leaked it there that it was Texas Instruments. Huh. So, uh, wow. I can't imagine why they're still holding us hostage on that. But whatever. Well, you see, it's not the it's not the smart board that goes bad though. It's the cells. Mm -hmm. So. But if I got that smart board and I have my own cells, like I buy another battery pack, even I could make my own battery. Why can't you just do that? Because it wants it, the drone won't fly. No, because it needs the smart board. The go. Yeah, yeah, it needs the smart yeah. board. 
Yeah. Oh, you're saying if you could get some of the smart boards. Right. You have to. Oh, okay. Now you got to go and buy smart boards from guys who have. I thought you were talking about the boards that you have in dead batteries that don't work. Well, I can't use any of mine because I got salt water shorted out. Oh. So I've still got some of those at the house. They're sitting in a box them. in the garage. Don't, don't get rid of them. I don't have a use for them. The boards in the top are worth a couple of bucks. Well, at least five bucks each. Well, if what you can't hell? get them. It might be worth 50 bucks each if you can't get them. Because <laughs> if you pop that top off, there's a red, a black, a balance cord, and a temperature cord. That's it. That's all that's there. Yep. 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 And All right, you can, guys. You can snip the red and black and take the the balance cable balance and the right off. And no you know, just yeah, piece of cake. But so whatever happened with Jim, you're off the stream, right? You're off. Oh no. Okay, let me end it. All right. Good night, everybody. Thanks for coming. As always, I really appreciate it. Have a great one.